Antonio's Sports Center. The Spurs return to action tonight after a few days off. They host the defending champion Denver Nuggets in Austin, their first of their two games this weekend at the Moody Center. The Aggies still playing in Nashville. A&M opened the SEC tournament last night with an 80-71 win over Ole Miss. They'll take on two-seat Kentucky tonight at 5.30 here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. The Blitz starts this now. This Center update is brought to you by Edwin Watts Golf Shops, home of the 100% satisfaction guarantee. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Joe Ryan Eagle off today. I'm Jason Minix. Rob Thompson from the Morning Cuddle in for Joe this afternoon. Did you get a nap? I, I got a nap in. I, I am rejuvenated, ready for the uh, weekend that is, sitting comfortably. And, you know, since I've been here, you guys have upgraded. Well, <laughs> what do you mean we, we've upgraded? Not that the Roo Pub is any better than it was. It's always been fantastic. But now we've got these luxury seats. I'm reclined. I'm yeah. ready for takeoff. I, yeah, uh, no, no, it's, it's very comfortable here. here. And, I feel like I'm on a real talk show. Well, I mean, you are. Uh, welcome back That's to the Blitz. I feel like well, I'm on well, a real talk well, show. Today. Welcome back to the Blitz. Uh, hang it out. You know, we got Greg Shelton in the middle of a solitaire game. If I can get him to look up, he could adjust the headphones up a little bit. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, because some things, some things don't change. There's oh, a lot of things that don't change. There, there, yet a lot of things stay the same. And the fact that we're, you know. It's a Friday afternoon. You could have enjoyed your weekend beginning at 10.01. I could be at the coast right now. You could be at the coast right now. I could now. be at the beach right now, and but I chose you. There is no better place. I forgot that no, I chose you. You didn't choose tell me. tell my brother that you, I was you, coming. And you I'm chose the Roo Pub. Let's be honest. No, I, well, actually, see, you asked me a couple of weeks ago, and I said, I would. I, I haven't worked with you in, in, in for real, and I've been to the Roo Pub in a while, so yes. And then in the meantime, I got invited down to the beach. Yeah. And uh, I was ready to go. And then on like Tuesday, all the paperwork for the, for Friday came through and I saw it all. And I was like, my, hey, wait, my name's on that list. Yeah. <laughs> you forgot, I had you completely committed. forgot that I had committed. So uh, my brother's on the beach sending me pictures and I'm with you and I'd much rather be with you right now. Well, that, that, that's awesome because yes. I'm better company yes, than that are. other Jason yeah. that, that you know all too well. But in reality... You could, uh, uh, well, after the Aggie game tonight, you could wake up on the beach tomorrow morning no, if, I'm, if you want. happily here. But the fact that you decided to come here and hang out at the Roo Pub on a Friday, leading in the St. Patrick's Day weekend, Chip uh, and, and the crew over here at the Roo Pub for their St. Patrick's Day party coming up, they created the Rob Thompson version of this year's St. Yes, Patrick's it's Day t shirt. This was made with Rob Thompson in mind. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm holding it up now. If you can read it, it says the only Irish thing about me are my goodbyes. And that is Rob Thompson yes, it is. in a sentence. It is. Uh, it is the, I'm, and I'm not Irish. No. Uh, but I, I play one on the radio. That well, Man, that's brilliant. I'd always heard about the Irish goodbye. Yeah. Um, it, and see, I think that I don't think the Irish goodbye is rude. What do you mean? I don't think it is. I think it's, it's you know, what is Robert Earl has a song. It's uh -huh. not about uh, stop crying about the leaving and think about the coming back. You know, uh, I'll see you again. Yeah. And we left on good company. You don't need to tell me how much we're going to miss each other. I'll see you again. Well, you know, you are the king of the Irish goodbyes. Yes. just And and I, I appreciate that. I am not allowed to do Irish goodbyes if I'm somewhere with my wife. Oh, well, I, well, yeah. And see, now you, you and Kelly, you She's have good at it too. You have an agreement. Well, yeah. Like, like all of a sudden, you give her a look, and you guys, you're gone. It, it is right. A, my wife says, "Hey, it's time to go," and I know I've got two more beers because it's going to take her an hour to say goodbye see, to everybody at least twice. She's right? revving herself up. Yeah, well, that's She's it. forcing you to force her to leave. That, that's it. I cannot just. You know, cash out and go, just disappear. Hey, I'm I'm going to the bathroom and just end up in my car or end up in the Uber or any of that if I am with Joanna, because I know she's going to say goodbye to everybody at least twice because she's going to forget the first time. Mm -hmm. And somewhere along the way, there's going to be another drinking ball. Oh, yeah. And then we'll after we say goodbye to Joanna and then we say goodbye to her again. 
Yes. And then we uh, text her when we get home. Oh, absolutely. Because, and I, how many texts must hit your house? I, I have. Night? There's I, like I, nine. Oh, no, it's just it's, they're safe. Well, and, 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 that's, and, and that's, you know, Joanne is very good at, like, they're make sure safe. everybody got home. Everybody got in the yes. Uber. Everybody's good. And, you know, she doesn't see those until the next well, afternoon. You know, no, I mean, still worth, it's still worth the effort, though. Yeah. We wanted to wake up comfortable. All that, yeah, but you go to bed just, just fine. I mean, it, it's just one of those bizarre things. I'm jealous of the people that could just disappear. Well, it, it, it's been a long time training uh, because, it, it, you know, my wife was the same as, well, as she always thought it was kind of rude not to say goodbye. And I never felt it rude at all. So over the years, we have learned to. Well, she might very silently say to whoever she's with, well, we're leaving. My husband just gave me the uh, the, the second skin on the baseball diamond. So are so, you the one that gives the sign? Oh, uh, I'm it, the one that gives the sign. Or is it her? No, it's always me. Always? Always. always. Like, like going back. Because I could see morning show Rob adjusting and going, all right, dude, I got to go. Afternoon show Rob, when you were on the Blitz, no. I, you, you were always – uh, you know, the lights were coming on. They were starting to sweep the floors. And at some point, it's an Irish goodbye because you were the only one left. That, well, it's kind of that. But over the years, we we know my wife and I have the uh, understanding. We can kind of look at each other and she'll go, you. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. Let's we'll both kind of meet at the car. Yeah. We'll just kind of. Yeah. I, you know, have you ever seen the meme of, of Homer stepping into the bushes? That's when I become invisible. Uh-huh. I become a cat burglar at that moment and I'm out the door. See, uh, now. And always good at making sure your tab is taken care of. See, there, there's another guy that's been a part of this show through the years who, who often does an Irish goodbye, yeah, although it's not intentional. It's an entirely he, different. He just now. disappears, and the good people at the room are like, hey, you got this one, or do you want me to just hold it till the next time we see him tomorrow? That's a I, you know, very that, that, different that, Irish goodbye. That's, that's very different. Yes. But, but generally speaking. Uh, <laughs> and do you get the sense that that's really what that Irish goodbye means is about that kind of thing? Well, yeah, I'm not going to be here. We're supposed time to be to derogatory the bill, to right? the worst. Well, well, like. well, maybe. But in the case of, I don't know, one James Pledger, generally speaking. But it's for him. Off, it's just a pay, tab. He's pay, coming yeah, back. Pay, well, but paying that tab became secondary priority because the reason he was leaving in a hurry. See, well, there's other. And, and, yes. and again, that's where you always have a that's good assistant. you got man. a brother. Yeah, I, you got I a got big you. man. I, I got you. Business. I, 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 I saw minutes. I saw you working. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back in about five. Yeah, exactly. You know, did you leave or are you just in the parking lot? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and he might need the cash on hand for something else. Well, but that's a exactly. whole other thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we're here at the Rupo and, and stories that could be said. Well, um, could be. I missed. They're in the book. It, yeah, uh, you know, the thing about hurrying home and, and trying to get a nap and stuff is today was busy again. I, am I alone? Is this the craziest four days of free agency that you can remember? No. No? No. Am I, I, I alone? Uh, okay. I, I mean, every year it feels this way. And this it, one's different, it, though, right? It, well, I, no. I mean, here, it, I, I think you've spent too much time with R.J. Ochoa. Um, I, I, because R.J., and you know, I love RJ, and I'm not saying anything about him on the radio that I haven't said to him. That dude has become the saltiest SOB. He is. A, I mean, he's a, turned hard. into a grumpy old man with, with the Cowboys. It is. The, and they I mean, he's to, right. Well, but, but it's his attitude about it that's well, very, very. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, but, but they haven't done much. In the free agency, the beginning part of free agency it, in though. years. And, and I'm not talking about the Cowboys. I'm just talking about the rest of the league. This has been nuts. Yeah, I, today I, continued to be nuts. Well, well, look. Two things happened today that if you said, Rob, what are the likelihood of those two things happening this morning? When I went off there, I'd go, ah, 10%. All right. Which two? Uh, Pickett getting traded from Pittsburgh All right, to that, Philadelphia. Yeah. That would have been a 1% possibility. All right. Well, see, now, now a couple of things that I see here working. You know, they called Kenny Pickett an Uber and said, just go across it's the state. It's just easier, right? right? I mean, buy your he, flight. he went to college there. He's got something in his contract. He can't leave the state of Pennsylvania. It's a maybe parole It's a court thing. order. It's a parole I, thing, I, I, I don't know. It, maybe Kenny Pickett, because I saw one. Uh, he asked for a trade, according to Chef, or at least that tweet insinuated he wanted out when they signed Russ. So do you think you can't beat out Russ, but you can't beat out Jalen? Or – you asked out. They found a partner uh, for right. you because now is Justin Fields in play for Pittsburgh. Could they make that trade for Justin Fields, which is where oh. uh, you go way back with Justin Fields kind of became on the market. Pittsburgh looked like the perfect destination for him. Uh, can we light a candle and hope this happens? Oh. Can we just light a candle that maybe 
you're correct in your assumption there. And then another thing happened today that I'm, I'm moderately shocked. I mean, I didn't see it coming, and especially today. I mean, if I'm the team that had this happen to, I said I would say you could have maybe done this last week, maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could have decided to do this before all the other guys were gone. Uh huh. Uh, it, it, I was trying to tease forward. I don't know. Is that a bad tease? No, no. Okay, it's late in the day. It's a, it's a great tease. Okay, it's a, it's a great Thank tease. You. you know, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm not accustomed to doing uh, big boy radio. Well, I, I mean, you, you should be. I'm reclined. Uh, ben, I feel like I should have a like a snifter. Vince Trevino says, "Howdy, gents! The original Blitz Crew reunited." Yeah, that is true. Well, not, not original. True. Not, true. not true. That is not true. Not, that is not true. I, I'm, uh, I'm 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 second in line in that. You one. know. In the third, really. But let's not get facts get in the way of a good no, story. Is. But he is requesting you saying and bringing in. Well, oh, we'll do have to blitz. do it today. We'll he, to he's got to warm up the pipes. Yeah, I, have, I mean, a, I'm out of practice. I might pull a hammy. That is well-trained vocal cord work to do what Rob Thompson used to do. I almost changed the name of the show completely when we made all these changes just because there's no way I could duplicate no, what no, he no. used to do. And by the way, there is no better intro to any show anywhere. The trombone short. I mean, you cannot help but get in a good mood. Yeah. When it comes on. I, I, every time it comes on, it just makes you makes you happy. So no, um, it was it's worthy in itself right now. Got golf on the TVs, basketball, uh, lots of basketball through the evening. Aggies play at six. You want to come hang out somewhere, have a nice afternoon, uh, beverage, get some late lunch. Come hang out with us here at the Rue Pub. At, 281 and Redland Road. Now, this weekend, if you're going to fire up the grill, uh, make sure you get into Tri-County Meat Market because you know that great meal starts with great meat. And Tri-County has everything you need to up your grilling game. Locally owned, full service. You're thinking steaks this weekend. Maybe you want to do some ribs, some beef ribs, some baby backs, some St. Louis style, maybe those English cross cuts, some pork, some fajitas, some poppers. Those seeds of fajitas, both the beef and chicken, better than you could do on your own. Uh, so get into Tri-County Meat Market. Maybe a pecan or a tri-tip. Tri-County has what you need with the quality you expect, and you can always take advantage of their pick five for 25. And Tri-County offers a 10% discount for military and first responders. Two great locations on Ralph Fair Road and on Hebner or online at tricountymeat.com. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ensira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch. Ten minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic. Benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th. Presented by Flight by England and 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone of men since 2011 feel and perform better they're so confident they can help you they even guarantee it schedule your free testosterone test exam and consultation today call 210-615-7777 that's 210-615-7777 or visit revivemenshealth.com George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. We've helped over 30,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answers. 
At Wesley Financial Group, we're dedicated to helping timeshare owners get out of their financial nightmare. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call now for your free timeshare exit information kit. Call 800-761-0000. That's 800-761-0000. 800-761-0000. Drowning in IRS debt? If you can't afford to pay your IRS debt due to economic hardship, you can now be free of IRS collection efforts by taking advantage of a special IRS tax hardship program. This program allows Americans who owe the IRS to resolve their delinquent tax debt once and for all. In some cases, maybe even reducing what you owe significantly. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Simply dial 800-785-9545. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back or have years of unfiled tax returns, help is standing by. Just call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-785-9545 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your social security check. Call 800-785-9545 to see if you qualify. That's 800-785-9545. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low-carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A U D. A C Y. Looky, looky. It's AM basketball tonight at 5 30 against Kentucky. The SEC tournament rolls on. 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94 1, a San Antonio Sports Star, live out at the roof up 281 in Redland Road. Your big voice guy talking about the Aggies tonight. You can listen to it here on 94 1. Or watch it with us here at the Roof of 281 and Redland Road. Ryan Eagles off today. I'm Jason Menix. Rob Thompson from yeah. the Morning Huddle. Working this afternoon. I pulling, am. pulling a double. Uh, you know, I don't I don't overtime often, but when I do, I go to shows that I remember. Yes. And, and, and this is certainly one. And if I'm going to work overtime, I might as well be at the Roof Hub. You oh. know what I mean? If you're going to have to do extra, extra time. Well, this, I, I mean, it, 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 there's rules when we have to pull double duty. Like, if I've got to fill in on the morning show, I will do it from my kitchen. Uh, if you're going to do the afternoon show, it's going to be at a great ball. You know, I, I follow the great veterans before me like you, and there are certain things that I, I require. And yes. this will be from here on out. If I am going to be here, I have to be at the roof up, and uh, Chip needs to be here to greet me. Yes. And, and, and that was taken care of as well. So the, my rider was taken care of. Yeah, custom Although shirt, I, paid in I beer. Got the custom here we go. shirt, and there is a Wimby burger in my future. Yes. Uh, so, um I'm not asking him to cover that, but, you know, part of my rider was I'm going to have to have a Wimby Burger tonight. Which you can get, the original Wimby Burger. Because they're not going to be anywhere near me. No, Well, no, I mean, they're just up in Austin. Uh Here, Here's the thing. And last year when they played in Austin, I was pissed. This year, yeah, all right, I, I get it. And I think a big part of my, okay, whatever, you guys, business, growing fan base, all that kind of stuff, two games up at the Moody Center, 
Uh, do I like the fact that Denver, the defending champs, it's a good game, uh, a Friday night is in mm-hmm. Austin? Yeah, there are lots that I don't like about it, but I get it. And I feel like because we've already started the real talks about where the new arena is going, the Wemby Center on the side of the Institute of Texan and Cultures, just that conversation has taken the threat of, are they looking to move to Austin out of my equation? I'm not mad about this. I, and I think the people that are, like you, are just looking for a reason to be mad at something. I might be. It might be the weather. I, I don't know. But I, I can't get over it, man. I for, and it was reinforced yesterday. It, I can't get over the fact that the Spurs are trying to convince me that this is a good thing for me, that it's good for the Spurs to grow their brand elsewhere. It's good for them to go someplace else because I, as a Spurs fan, an OG Spurs fan, just isn't enough. I, it's like I've watched my kids go to my ex who's got a cool new whatever boyfriend girlfriend who's got a pool and and they got a they got all the cool stuff and no curfew and they can do what they want and they go up there get a parade have you seen all the stuff that's going on in austin yeah and pop's like giggling pop is like giddy up there i i I, I, pop's playing a part and and, well maybe he is but he was on the air yesterday uh, in, in his presser um just kind of I don't know. It's like, who is this guy? Well, this is this is our coach. And then he talked about a break. That it was a nice break. Uh, you know, it's fun to get out a little bit. I know that sounds simplistic, but it's true. Uh, you know, Austin's a great town, and it's always fun to come up here. And you know, we we got fans here, but wherever we go, Central South Texas, you know, whether it's Laredo or here or any place else, there are fans that really enjoy Spurs win or lose. So. We wish it was a little bit more of the winning part. But yeah, we just getting out and being able to come up here and enjoy the area for a couple of days is a good break for all of us. It's, it's yeah, nice have a little vacay, here. man. Have a couple of a staycation. Take the kids, go up to Kalahari, and you guys, you know, ride the the waves. Uh-huh. And have a few days off, you know, because you know these 50, 14 wins. It's been tough, man. You need a little getaway. Well, I get it, but it's nice to 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 you know go check out a break. different four seasons. Where they don't care if you win or lose, they just want to see you. I, 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 and again, the threat of the Spurs leaving has left me. You know, this time last year, don't let it go too far. I away. thought it was. Oh well, no, I mean, it's, I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh-huh. But this year, I don't feel that same threat. I understand with some of those big time billionaire Austin investors, they want to have a little toy in their backyard for their rich friends, and and it's two games. Mm-hmm. And while they are losing, you know, I, I, I mean, and again, I get it. It doesn't piss me off like it did a year ago. And I think a real big part of that is the conversation moving forward about the new Wemby Center. Not anything that Peter J. Holt or Pop or anybody might have said a year ago or anything that they have said. It's the action that it looks like they are moving forward with. Well, no, yeah, no, first, no, 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 go go too far this is what has happened the spurs haven't done anything no the san antonio the city of yeah has as trying to head the spurs off at the pass sure this is a long way from getting there. oh absolutely um and, this, and it doesn't mean that the city of san antonio is ready to jump in here as well all they're saying is hey we got sand that we should have used the first time that's now available we begin to talk this is not a done deal i like where no, we're at but, but it's, the, it's the talk progressing mm-hmm. on the timeline that it looks like it needs to progress with Ten years or so left on the uh, on, on the lease, knowing that you know it's a three to five year project. So as long as that conversation starts within the right time frame, and I, there, I, 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 I feel a lot more comfortable that you know basically this is like one of those you know winter break tournaments in college basketball where we take all <laughs> the kids to Puerto Rico or Hawaii because that's how this feels. You know, boy, you can't come that's to Austin exactly while the Longhorns are playing, but you can come after the Longhorns are playing because you can't interfere with them. So, you know, South by Southwest is going on, and let's add a couple of Spurs games in there. So, you know, I, I, again, the, the mad about it and the threat of them moving, for me, is dissipated. Is it completely gone? No. But I'm not angry that, like I was last year, that they're playing these games in Austin or in Mexico or, or yeah, anywhere I didn't else. Even bring up Mexico, which is you know that one I will buy. I will. You I mean, can shovel the Dodgers that. regular games over in in Asia. 
I mean, it happens. And, and no, I get that every now and then. And I get I get the idea of growing the brand, but growing the brand 45 minutes from where I live, I just find it personal. Like the brand doesn't reach 45 minutes from my house. You got to you got to go up there. And here's a, a couple of ironic parts about this. You know, most of the guys in Austin are not happy that the Spurs are there. They're already busy with South by Southwest. Their schedules are full. My my brother-in-law and my sister live on Zilker. They are the epitome of the snooty Austin Yes, types. they I are. Mean, I love them, but they, oh, man. But anyway, they're upset. Like, why? This this place is already gridlocked. We've already got 100,000 techies have descended on us, and now you're adding a basketball game? It's already rough. Seriously, that was their attitude. Like, you could have put that off a couple of weeks or maybe come back in November or, or, or come back in May when there's nothing else going on but right or April. But now, of all times, so the Spurs are doing it not in Austin right now because of South by Southwest. It ain't because of Austin. It's because of South by Southwest. And this decision was made to do all this before Wimby got here. Well, and that's, and I think that's a big reason why. Now, let's go. Let, let's look at, at San Antonio. For years, like the whole time you were growing up, this was an Astros town. Yes. And when the Astros were losing 100 games, you know, 10 years ago, and the Rangers went to the World Series in 10 and 11, not winning one, but going to the World Series, and they were on television here because the Astros thought they could create their own TV network, yeah. and they weren't on TV here. The Rangers were, and winning – and how many people jump ship? So a lot so changed. I, I could see where the Spurs were looking, going, man, we're not winning like we used to. The Mavericks are good, and they've got a couple of star players, or at least one. The Rockets, they look like they could be good. We cannot lose Austin. What can we do to keep them? And, oh, by the way, you got Dell and a couple other billionaire guys that live there that would like to have something in their backyard. And then you get Wemby. But the groundwork for this was laid before you knew Wemby was coming. And for a bad mm -hmm. basketball team doing something like that, I do believe that was a part of the process. Oh, just no to doubt. make sure that, you know, because in Austin, I believe they do get Mavericks games and they do get Rockets games, depending on the channel and the way things are going now. You're not beholden to a territorial restriction on Fox Southwest like it was back in the old days. Now, I... Just because they got Wimby, though, uh, that doesn't mean they're going to get out of this gig. This is That's they've made. Oh, yeah. Michael Dell and that crew, they let they're, they will relinquish the Spurs, which are any NBA franchise is an ATM with a uh, free access, baby. Whoa, whoa. It's a it's a license to print cash. I mean, it's it's like the people in Las Vegas that are bitching about the F1. And that was a 10 year contract. Right. Right. I mean. Yeah, it, you know, they're in it now. And they ain't going to let go of it. I, We're not. The thing is, we cannot now, if at any point we wanted to get out, back out of Austin, it's like, the, forget that. We're no, we're committed. This is a done deal, even with a new building. Even if we built there and built a palace right downtown, keep in mind, we're only going to get 38 or, or 36, 37 well, well, I, home how, games. How long is the contract? I mean, it's something that doesn't have to continue. It's not a forever kind of deal. So, I, I, I mean, and again, I'm not mad about it this year. I know some people are. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel you know, right. And but, nobody else has ever, in my recent memory, had to put up with this. With Yeah, I, I mean, and, and who knows if it goes on somewhere else and it just doesn't make national news. But I think is that doesn't feel like this is step one of the threat that they are leaving. It's still it, no. You're right. I, I don't have the imminent fear, and I do know I'm I'm more than willing to sacrifice a couple of home games either here in Mexico City in and not be Seattle, <laughs> and, and yeah. then to wake up one morning and they're gone. I I do get the in between, but I also know that things have changed since this decision was made. That we no longer need us. And Wimby's enough gravity to bring everything sure. here. We don't need any more growing the brand. The brand's seven four and continues to get better. And and I'll tell you what, aren't they playing some games in France next year too? Well, that's different. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and again, uh, obviously that that makes that makes a lot of sense because you know everything will be built around Wemby. What does surprise me is other than the press conference yesterday of all the different South by Southwest public appearances that the Spurs are doing this weekend, Wemby's not a part of any of them. You know the whole thing that the Spurs sent out. You know, Keldon's going to be doing this and Julian's going to be doing that. And I, 
they don't they don't have Wimpy front and center. I guarantee you, he's me. busy. I just don't know where he is. Well, all right, I wonder so, what he's doing. Well, something techy, I would imagine. Yeah, he's this, this is like to his, do something. Is his, his his playground? I uh, think uh, about everything he did All Star Weekend. You know, knowing what goes on behind the scenes and all the things that the parties and the gatherings, he is a he is a prize of, of a venue today. At some point, that there's a there was a gathering of which Victor was a part of, and it cost thousands of dollars to go meet him. You you would think. We'll talk more about Wemby and an autographed jersey. What would that go for at an auction? We'll tell you coming up. Uh, yeah. It's actually surprisingly low, although it's a ridiculously big number. We'll explain uh-huh. coming up in the headline blitz just after 3 o'clock. But a lot of headlines in the NFL this afternoon. We'll get you all caught up as we continue here on the Blitz. Live out at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Monday on the Morning Huddle, the brackets are set. We put on our glasses. The bracketology begins. Plus, the Spurs are back from Austin. How were the tacos? But more importantly, how were the games? The Morning Huddle starts at 6. We'll see you there. It is March, and you know that means that spring storms are certainly on their way. And what you need to do is make sure that your roof is ready for whatever Mother Nature has to throw at us this year. And to do that, you need to call Stevens Roofing, because really there is only one name in roofing that stands high above the rest. That's Stevens Roofing. Look, a quality roof overhead by Stevens Roofing means comfort, it means confidence, and it certainly means peace of mind. Protection for all the things that you love. When you're in the market for repairs, a replacement roof, or an upgrade, you'll want to work with the experienced team that brings local roots, value, and a vast knowledge of the craft to every job. That is Stevens Roofing. They're providing roofing in both commercial and residential, a wide variety of materials for all of South Texas. Call Stevens Roofing, 210-785-0994, or get them online at stevensroofing.net. Stevens Roofing, that number again, 210-785. Five zero nine nine four. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's 5000 50000 or 500000 we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-2706. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-575-2706. That's 800-575-2706. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Just go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. That's right. Get generic for Viagra, the same active ingredient as brand name Viagra, but for 95% less. It's the same medication, still prescribed by a licensed medical provider, but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. March is National Nutrition Month. Metro Health invites you to go beyond the table to celebrate food and its role in health and wellness. Whether we eat around a dinner table, on the go, or at a restaurant, choosing what we eat is important. Stay nourished on any budget. Metro Health offers information and resources to help you and your family savor your health. For tips, recipes, and much more, visit sa.gov forward slash health. Eat well, feel great. Head over to Hulu this March, where our new shows and movies will keep you streaming all month long. Catch the acclaimed movie, All of Us Strangers, starring Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott. 
Stream the new Hulu original limited series, We Were the Lucky Ones, with Joey King and Logan Lerman. And don't forget about Grey's Anatomy. Every Grey's episode ever is now streaming on Hulu. So, what are you waiting for? Go stream something new on Hulu. Ulta Beauty's semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. The Golf Club of Texas has some of the best course conditions with the friendliest staff. The golf is great. They have lighted driving range and practice area. While it feels like a country club, it's not a private club. It's open to the public, so bring the family into the 10 Cup Bar, the nicest sit-down restaurant in that area of San Antonio, specializing in Texas food, wine, and spirits. For golf or dinner, go to the Golf Club of Texas off Highway 90, online at golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1, a San Antonio sports star. Rob Thompson in for Joe Reinagle on this Friday. I'm Jason Minnick. Live out at the Roop Hub, 281 and Redland Road. College basketball in the silver and black on tonight. And, of course, Sunday is the all day St. Patrick's Day party here at the Rupub. And uh you know, their parties have become legendary, uh, a well earned reputation of legendary status for events. St. Patrick's Day and Halloween right up there. Well, uh, yeah. Um how, what's the longest you've peed green on the eighteenth? Uh, that's a loaded question. Has it sir. gone like like three or four? I mean, when when did it get back to normal? I, you know, I'm I'm almost embarrassed to say that I don't know that I've ever drank enough green beer to pee green. Well, you wake up in the morning and you're peeing green. You know that uh, you don't remember most of the day before. And they're starting at 11 on Sunday. They're, they're Pace yourself, at, folks. Now, are you a big fan of the, the green beer? I try to avoid it, but there's sometimes I've been to places that's all there was. So okay. uh, you See, end up with green lips. and I, I, I always – that's a personal issue. Well, I, know, I, a, always, I always feel a little um, – and I'm not sure that was beer that you had if it turned your lips no. green. But I, 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 I'm not sure what you were doing. <laughs> so I'm at this party with Bill Cosby. <laughs> but but yeah. I, I will always have he gives one. Me this green jello. I, I would I would always have one. And you don't remember anything after. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I always will have at least one green beer. You can't, but, well, you have to, right? But, at least somebody will hand you one. But then I will end up back with – I prefer bottle or can beer over draft beer. And, and a big part of that, uh, and I know I'm not alone in this because beer people have explained this to me, but draft beer, doesn't matter the brand, tends to give me a headache. And, and what I've been told from beer people, it's the air in the lines that's mm -hmm. coming through that affects people for whatever reason in that way. So uh, now, depending on the brand, I suppose, you know, three, four and I know I'm going to have a headache regardless. So um, <laughs> just carry and, on. And, 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 and while 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 you're drinking, like like there's just something about the air in in the lines. Uh, same thing with like fountain drinks. Um, uh, there there's just something about it with me. So I will have one, maybe two. So your choice, and I know this is always the bottle over the overdraft. And oh, for always. me, I always it's the other way around. I always go draft if I have the chance. Well, and, and the bottle, especially if it's nice and cold. Now, I will take, if I'm at a place that serves a frosted mug, oh, yeah. well, I will pour that bottle into absolutely. a frosted mug at a heartbeat. That's a special treat that, you know, yes. it's set aside just for us. Yes, yes, and, and, and if you know people. So, so yeah. So, no, I don't think I've had enough green beer to pee green. No, I, I've, gone, I've gone two rounds. Two rounds? Two rounds, yeah. It, two rounds to flush it two out. Two rounds. It, it's I mean, it's a just, shocking experience the first time it happens to you. Was it really? I mean, are you coherent enough to realize well, you're no, I'm talking green. about the next morning you wake up and uh, – so it's the next morning. So this is 
10 or 12 trips to the bathroom later. No, and I, was still a younger man. No, I was a much younger man when this was an issue. When we're talking last century kind of stuff. Are but, you sure it was because of the green beer or was something else going well, on? Well, you know, <laughs> that was a time when you were worried about a lot of stuff. And, you know, the least of the options back then was, oh, it's only green. Wow. Well, I mean, I mean, I could be dealing with a with a, a couple of initials that terrify me. This is just green. Well, if it's green with no burn, it's fine. Right. I so mean, eventually it will clear up. In this day and age, now if this happened to me now, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure what I would do. I'm not sure how I would react. It might be, uh, well, first of all, I probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> So I might be I might a, be going on now. Is it a trickle, a drip, or was it a solid stream? You know, it's funny how things change. That, that varies in the night. That varies by trip. Well, we, uh, yeah, I can – sometimes it, it is like a, I, I can – it's like a pressure washer. And others, it's just kind of a slow – and I don't know why. There's just you – know, you know, it <laughs> – that's why Flowmax is a thing. That's why you, I mainline that stuff. You mainline that. Yeah. <laughs> it's through the night, man. <laughs> well, are we going to talk football or are we going to continue to talk my... Uh... I mean, this is rather I, interesting. I know I brought this up. And, 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 I, and I say that this is interesting because <laughs> this circles back. And apparently you, you, you need to get something off of your chest. And I, I'm Fraser Crane here. I, I'm listening. No, I don't have anything uh, to get uh, off my uh, chest. Are you kidding? We were in Las Vegas. My daughter uh, is is listening to all these older guys sit around. We were in, oh, a, no. in, in a car going wherever we were going, and Rob was like, yo, nothing worse than when you get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go pee, <laughs> and you stand over the toilet and you go drip, drip, drip. And, and it my, literally my kid, is. Who's 25. She is just dying laughing like, like your old man problems. I was commiserating with others in the vehicle. I was not alone in my sentiment. I mean, Ryan Angle. I didn't just here. spurt that out to have convo you, with you. My literally, Uber just out of nowhere, started talking about a drip pee. I think you arrived mid conversation. I was in the car the whole time. I, I got in at the same time you did. You know, I'm all about starting conversation, and I hate dead air. But <laughs> my lead in is not my urinary function at 3 a.m. I get there. I might bring it up eventually, but that's not my starter. That's not That's your not my opening pitch. It's not. No, it's normally, you know, the weather's weird. And by the time the conversation is done, it I know about, that so I have. So went from spitting rain to. But that's, you know, that's, that's how probably I get what there. the conversation I don't was. lead with it. Yes. I, that's my closer. Yes. When I want to close a conversation when it's over, I start talking about how I have to take a pee at 3 a.m. Well, and normally people will go, okay, conversation done. Yeah. And then you Irish goodbye. That's, and then I'm, I'm out. It, I, it all I'm, flows together. I'm with you. Speaking of closing. The end of an incredible 10-year career as Aaron Donald today announces his retirement. He's been a little squirrely about this in the past, but I'm shocked. I really was surprised. You know, I thought he was going to retire last year, mm-hmm. and I guess he thought they had another run. And maybe he doesn't think they have another run this year. I remember meeting that guy on Super Bowl Radio Row when he was doing a deal with Mountain Dew with that puppy monkey baby. Oh, right. (laughs) And he was just such a fun dude to be around. And following his career, 10 years in the league, 10 Pro Bowls. You know, he and Barry Sanders, I think, are on that list alone. Uh, The number of uh, Pro Bowl uh, All-Pro selections, three-time defensive player of the year. And when he won that Super Bowl and was pointing to his ring, he could have walked off the field then, and and he and he went another couple more years. And seeing quarterbacks like Kyler Murray uh, congratulate him and say "Don't come back" tells you just how dominant of a force Aaron Donald was during his career. The, uh, the um, it's a Seinfeld episode, but it isn't. It's an it's a truism. The first breakup on a couple. A long-term couple normally doesn't take. You know, they get back together. And normally the first retirement for guys that retire young doesn't always take. Does last year count as the first try and this year the decision? Because if last year didn't count, I'm not sure this guy's done. It's, you know, he's not J.J. He's not, he's not, you know, banged up on his second team and not happy where he is and, you know, looking at kids and a, and a life. This is still Aaron Donald. I, I wonder if he's truly done. I wonder if we're not. If I'm not ready, I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. You know, it, it, it's interesting because 
But you said Barry Sanders, and what a what a comparison. Well, and and I, and I look at Barry Sanders, and, and let's compare, say, Aaron Donald. You bring up a J.J. Watt. Uh, Tyron Smith is going through mm-hmm. it right now with the Cowboys. Most of the time, the game tells you when you are done. Very few go Get out on, on their terms. Mm-hmm. Um, J.J. Watt, I'm sure, would have preferred to finish his career with the Houston Texans. He went to Arizona. He was chasing. Emmett Smith uh, didn't finish his career with the Dallas Cowboys. Very few play an entire career with one team. And when you see a guy that can do that, that does make it extra mm-hmm. special. And he does everything. He got everything. He, I mean, what else is left? But he still got stuff in the tank. Well, but here's the thing, though. He might have something left in the tank. But if he doesn't feel like he's on a Super Bowl caliber team after tasting that victory, why go through it? Why go through it? And I'm sure that, you know, the timing of it, uh, you know, kind of like we're all waiting for Leighton Van Der Esch. I'm sure there's some sort of date on a calendar that is in a contract mm-hmm. somewhere that, you know, financially it's this versus that. And, you know, I'm sure this wasn't a surprise to the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, uh, but, well, I would like to have think it, thought it, if it wasn't, he'd have done it earlier. You know what I mean? Well, like if he was going to shock him, you would have done it last week at least. Well, but uh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. League year, yeah. roster bonuses, or, you know, just to get enough on your, you know, well, if I'm on the, this date, I get this much more in my pension plan. I mean, there are reasons <laughs> why certain dates are, are selected. I would say this. I would not lose his phone number if I was a GM. I would I would be aware that Aaron Donald is somewhere out there, not too far away from uh, from play weight, from from fight weight. So uh, I, I'm, I would give him a call for the next couple of years because guys like that who have that kind of motor, they run hot. And we'll just see how it goes. And speaking of Leighton Van Der Esch, while we're expecting his retirement, according to Todd Archer, they are actually going to release Leighton Van Der Esch with a failed physical designation. Of course, he missed the final 12 games last year with that neck injury. So, and, and again, that might just be a paperwork status uh, uh, help help with the uh, cap part of, part of things. Cowboys are also uh, going to release Michael Gallup with a post-June 1 time. designation. Uh, well, and again, I, I mean, obviously, this is going to save the Cowboys $9.5 million in cap room this year but will count $8.7 million against the cap next year. They gave the uh, Michael Gallup the opportunity to try to find a, a trade partner. Obviously, they couldn't do it and with his contract. So uh, he's off the books. Now the Cowboys are in the market not only for a running back, but, but another wide receiver. Um, and we've had, what, we're, we're day four in. It's not like they haven't been busy. So, you know, I expect everything that we need to see get done, get done post-haste. Now that, I mean, they, they, now they, that uh, they've got this little thing out of the way with the Gallup and uh, Leighton. I mean, I guess that's been the, the hindrance in going after guys like a running back, just name one, or maybe a tackle instead of one we already know, or maybe a defensive lineman of, of some uh, matter. Uh, so I'm just saying maybe we've been waiting on this so that we could finally do that. Because they're all in is different from mine. Now I'm starting to get what all in is. Yeah, well, again, they're, they're, they're all Clearing in. Clearing space. I mean, all in. I'll go RJ Ochoa. You know, they had the plan and that big press conference yesterday with Kid Rock in the, in the rodeo. And uh, they had to, you know, go to South by Southwest. I mean, you know, football business. Man, we can worry about that next week. The optics of yesterday, it felt like a movie. If, if the Cowboys had been filming the, a modern version of the North Dallas 40, I would have said there will have to be a scene where I put Steven in a denim sport coat. And I, what I want to, for, a, for graphics or for, for, for film purposes is I want nothing around him. I want just a vacuous cement floor. And then I want some random chicken glitter on a horse riding up to him. That was the most random photo op. I, I had to ask twice, what's going on here? <laughs> what, where are they and why, why are they all standing like this? And I had to be told it was something about the Brodeo. And they were in Austin? No, no, that was in Dallas. Oh. They were in Austin the day before at South By. Oh, okay. So that was in South, which would have made even more sense. Yeah. No, that, that was, uh, uh, I don't know, 
PBR thing coming to Jerry World uh, and Kid Rock concert. I, I appreciate the denim sport coat. That that you don't you don't come by those very easy. No, no, those those are. Uh, well, they went out with the 80s. Well, dude, it, it looked like the Urban Cowboy was showing up uh, on that little instance. And, and it couldn't have been a better perfect draft, a backdrop for what he had to say. Because if you want to prove a narrative, be vague and be you know businesslike. And I wasn't mad at what he had to say, but I would have liked to have heard more. Well, I, I mean, what I appreciated with what Stephen Jones said, I mean, they gave us some clarity on their definition of all there. <laughs> whether, whether you agree with it or not, at least you know where he was coming from. That was the the most concise explanation that we from either Jerry at the Senior Bowl, Jerry in Indianapolis, or quite frankly, even Stephen Jones in Indianapolis. And what they are doing this year, the busy first week of free agency, is what they've done the last several years. And even though they've had zero playoff success, they have had three straight seasons of 12-plus wins with a lot of positive uh, reviews, if you will, Mm -hmm. uh, of the rosters that they have put together and the moves that they have made late. You know, the the Gilmore move and the the Cooks move from a year ago, uh, nobody argued with that. I mean, they put together a hell of a roster last year using this plan. The the place isn't broken. You know, all the talk about culture, I don't know that you have three years in a row of 12 wins, and I know – the bar isn't what do you do in the regular season. It's what you do in the postseason where they have failed miserably. And last year, the way they went out, as embarrassing as that was, I get it. But they're not as broken as it feels. Or as if you go to Cowboys Twitter, which is a very scary place to go. Is, uh, but but also, I mean, the, I, I mean, you've got a quarterback. You've got a receiver. You've got one of the best defensive players in the league. You've got a head start on most everybody else. You you add the right pieces. That's the key word. And maybe a playoff performer right piece because it wasn't just Dak that came up small in the postseason. CD had some big drops, and we're about to make that guy one of the highest paid wide receivers. He had big drops early. Maybe the game is different. Maybe if they make a stop defensively early and Aaron Jones doesn't run all over him, that game is different. Uh, everybody wants to, and I, um, you know, Joe Reinagel, well, that pick six, that game was essentially over when the pick six happened. That was just the nail in the coffin. Now let's just have fun in the second half. Now, for those that are, you know, we'll, we'll see the glass is half full, and then there's the half empty. The half empty types see, the, see it this way, that the Cowboys are so enamored. They, they refuse to have to give away compensatory picks. I, I don't care. They, they refuse. And it, 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 it's, it's in the pudding. My co-host, RJ, this is a blogging the boys guy. It, it, that, that, it's a fact. They won't do that. And the rigidity to that, I, I think they find aggravating. And then there is the timing. Yes, we know that CD needs to be paid and Micah needs to be paid and the DAC deal needs to be done. The problem with the, ha- with the half-empty types is why hasn't it been done? What exactly is the holdup because nothing else can happen for real until at least the DAC thing is done. At least the DAC thing has to get done so we have some idea which way to go so we finally have a North Star. And until we get that North Star, we're just kind of drifting around. And why are we still waiting? You remember a couple of years ago, and it might have been one of the gazillion times DAC needed his deal done, but all of a sudden, big press conference is called they. They tried out Jalen Smith and his deal, that. right? And and Jerry's line was, well, we, it doesn't matter what order they get done. We know <laughs> where they're going to be. And, and I'm with you. Do something. And for a guy in Jerry Jones who does care about public image, and that's, you know, always wanting to be talked about and all that kind of stuff, I appreciate that he's not doing something just to make the fan base happy, Right. There is a, there's got to be a legitimate business reason why. What that is, I don't know. I don't see it. And I see other teams doing all kinds of things that say, well, that looks like a well-run organization. I look at the Houston Texans, man. Right now, I look at what Nick Casario was doing up until yesterday, and I thought, man, that guy's genius. And then he extended Mixon. And then the trade today, I, I, don't, I, I refuse to judge today's trade with Minnesota until I see what the next move is, because this doesn't feel like 
a smart oh. move on the part he of the did Houston Texans. a solid Texans. for Minnesota, didn't he? Uh, yeah, unless there is something else coming along the way. Uh, but right now, I look at that and go, what the hell was that? Well, you know, I read it breaking. I thought, t- and my first glance was, what, it, what Casario is, is he's planned his work. He's worked his plan. He's got the guys he wants. The free agents arrive. So in three, four years, what he has to deal with his first rounder, he doesn't want to deal with it. You know, the money he can go ahead and plan for uh, its availability, no matter what happens. And they're, they're going to go home happy. They did their job in the offseason. But then the closer you look at it, you go, why the heck did they help Minnesota out that much? Although... You do expect Minnesota to kind of suck, so that's a second-round pick that's going to increase in value. Sure. So what did they really lose other than a year on a guy that they would have drafted in the first round? Well, and again, you know, they had two first-rounders last year, so if he's Stephen Jones, I'm planning ahead. I don't want to have to pay. I, I, I don't know. It's it just <laughs> – Well, planning ahead in the Cowboys. I, I'm not sure we could put those two together. Well, I mean, it always feels like the Cowboys have the five-year plan in mind as opposed to the this year. <laughs> yeah, that's the bottom line. Come hang out with us here at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. Pretty good game going on right now between Wisconsin and Northwestern. 35-31, Badgers leading second half just underway. The Players' Championship is on as well. Basketball all over the place. And you know, you've heard me say a gazillion times, no better place to go watch any big game, any big event than here at the Roo Pub with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. And the food here, fantastic. The biggest and best wings in town. I love the fried shrimp. They got about 15 different burgers on the menu, including the original Wemby Burger. And the kitchen is open late till 2 a.m. every day with the full menu available. So when you need that late-night meal, don't go to a drive through Get into the roof up here at 281 and Redland Road. And you certainly want to be out here Sunday because the St. Patrick's Day parties at the Rue are legendary. This year is going to be the biggest one ever. It's an all-day party on Sunday starting at 11 a.m. Three bands outside. Uh, obviously different times. DJs both inside the roof Pub and the Angry Elephant. Basketball on all the screens. And, of course, the green beer is going to be flowing. The roof Pub right down from the big blind next to the Angry Elephant. 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Rue. Writing 281. What- FM Floresville and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dmpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Flight by Yingling. It's the next generation of light beer. For those who don't follow trends, but craft them. Flight by Yingling is 12 ounces of uncompromised refreshment from America's oldest brewery. With only 2.6 grams of carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment, six generations in the making. Don't just raise a glass, raise the bar. Flight by Yingling. Available wherever beer is sold. DG Yingling and Sun Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Please enjoy responsibly. San Antonians love a good party. And the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocation, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. 
Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows all states to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. All state fire and casualty insurance company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. African Americans are the most likely to die from colorectal cancer. The most important thing you can do is get screened starting at age 45. Insurance companies are required to cover not only colonoscopy, but also virtual colonoscopy and other less invasive exams. Talk to your doctor about your options. For more information on virtual colonoscopy, visit radiologyinfo.org slash virtualct. Furnished by the American College of Radiology and the Radiology Health Equity Coalition. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. The NFL is on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. The Dallas Cowboys will release linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch with a failed physical designation. The Cowboys are also going to release Michael Gallup with a post-June 1 designation. The San Antonio Spurs play a home game tonight against the Denver Nuggets. Home game, sure. It's in Austin, the first of two this weekend at the Moody Center. The Aggies play Kentucky tonight at 6 here on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. Joe Reinagel. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star, live out at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. Come hang out with us on this Friday afternoon. Joe Ryan Eagle, he's got the day off today. Rob Thompson from the Morning Huddle, former Blitzer, sitting in here at the Roo Pub. I'm Jason Minutes. Come have a beer and say hi. A lot of people have done that. In fact, we were just talking to a guy, Jeremy. He's like, dude, you guys are going to Vegas in a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm going. All right, if you're going to Vegas, and again, what a weekend it's going to be. Yeah. March 28th and 29th is the Thursday and Friday that the Blitz is going to be live at Circa Las Vegas. Opening day of Major League Baseball and obviously the Sweet 16 weekend of the NCAA tournament. Joe and I will be doing the show, the Blitz, Thursday and Friday. We're there all weekend. Uh, you can get discounted rooms at Circa. There is a link for discounted rooms at sasportstar.com. So you could save some money there. Now, like I was telling Jeremy, because he's staying somewhere else for, you know, some sad reason, because he wants to overpay for his rooms. Uh, if you're if you're at Circa, uh, hit us up on social media and uh, whatever we're doing, we'll try to figure out how to get you in there. You know, because we know some people plan stuff long before we had this in the works. And, and this dude says, I have zero social media. I don't know what Respect, to do with that, man. I, 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 I mean, what do you do with that? How do you survive in today's world better than me without social media? And part of me is very jealous of that. Yes. Uh, no, no social media. I mean, it's I mean, the guy's bald, too. So it's not like he can't be, you know, uh, 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 living a stress free life. And, and then I wonder, <laughs> what the hell are you hiding if you are in this world without social media? Hey, man. Do I really want to hang out with you or is somebody looking for you? And uh, you, you know what I mean? Like those without social media, there's a reason you don't want to be found. He's living off the grid, baby. He's off the digital those, grid. Th those are typically uh, odd people. He uh, writes. Uh, he writes checks. He, he's he, always he, looking. He, he has he a writes current, checks. He has a book of stamps. Uh huh. A checkbook. Uh huh. He has all those things. He's down. 
Yeah. You, you're not going to be able to get him. He he has access to his cash. He knows where his bank is. He He's probably, been to his bank. He probably in goes the in, last week. He, he actually goes and talks to the teller. He does. He, he, gets he knows a her by name. Paper check when he gets paid. He's living in the analog world, and I envy him. Is that even still an option? A, I, I, a, I don't know. A, a paper check? I, I mean, I, I haven't I, seen one recently. I, I know, and he talked about this on air, so I don't feel like I'm violating any kind of trust. But when David Chancellor worked at the radio station. Yeah, he used to be the paper check. He's the last guy I knew that took a paper check. And he loved going into. There was another guy uh, that that used to work at our place named Bob. I won't say Bob Brown's last name, but Bob used to do the same thing. I won't say the fact that he's an OU type, and that's probably very indicative of those types. Bob used to like to get the check, go to the bank, because then he could peel a couple dollars off and not share it with his wife. Um, you know, you, you know, she would mm-hmm. just see the deposit. Yeah, that, no, honey, they right? just pay me in cash. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, he would get his allowance in advance. You know, chance. I think I, I don't know. Uh, you know, you just like talking to people. Um, no, chance didn't trust the big bank, or, you know, <laughs> big bank or whatever. No, chance. It was more about conspiracy. He wanted to, to see the money. He wanted to see the girl type it in. He wanted the physical receipt. He wanted that. Yeah, it's stuff, it. right Here's here. that. I, I, I mean, you know, it's like yesterday I, I got a piece of mail from when my niece lived with us, which has been about two years. And it was from the toll Oh, yeah. So I thought she was getting a bill. And my first thought is, you haven't lived here long enough. And the car that you drove here, you no longer have. Um, yeah, good luck uh, getting that, Texas. Uh, uh-oh, right? <laughs> well, and, and so I texted it to her. She said, open it up if it's a bill. Let let, let me know. And, you know, because you'll just do everything online. I wouldn't have to. It, and it was a refund check for $14.60. Get the hell out of here. I swear to God. it's the It's the damnedest thing. Why would you? But you drive it in reverse? <laughs> drive it in reverse. <laughs> How do you get a refund from a toll road? Well, um, because, and I and I learned this, because it's not like we have toll roads in San Antonio, but when Erica Thank was going God. to Sam Houston State and would go to Houston, you can get a tag uh-huh. that, that it's basically good for all them. Yeah. $20, they would charge your card every time mm-hmm. the account got low enough. Right. And so that's what Bree did. So there was always, you know, Twenty dollars, and anytime you went over it, they would just run your card for another twenty dollars, and and so the the letter, and it's the it's the oddest thing, a review of our records indicate that your account has been inactive for over eighteen months. Please find a refund check in the amount of fourteen dollars and sixty three cents. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. You know, when you owe them, the, the the tenor of the letter is very different. Yeah. Probably the color of the paper is a little di- oh, different, yeah. too. Well, what is a refund? Because the letter I get from the uh, the Texas toll road bill people, pretty consistently pink. Yeah, pretty, and, and, and very angry. Pay this. I, you know, I, when I heard you saying that, and, and she obviously didn't know. I mean, I know the state of Texas owed her some money, and she I know she doesn't live here. I looked at this kind of like, you know how there, there, there's kids out there that uh, owe lo- that can't get lunch money bills? They, uh-huh. have, they should just like, I owe money as we speak for this toll road. I pay them twice a year, whether I use it every week or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You'll eventually get your money. That money should go into the pool for people like me that are still here. Why, why, why do I have to give it back to her? Well, I mean, it's her money. You know what? She- it is her money. I agree. But if she still lived in Texas... She can have it, but she's gone. Well, you know, it's funny. She was like, just throw it away. See, it's 14 bucks, man. I could use it. That's like a trip. That's one that's one pass to Georgetown. Well, and I was thinking, uh, I I wonder, you know, how you 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 know you deposit checks with your phone now. Could I just deposit this check and you know sell her the money or keep it? But or but I would sell her the money. It's my niece, right? But I wonder if the bank would let me do that. I I'm willing to try. You're willing to try. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I've never actually deposited uh, somebody else's check into my account. I don't, I, know, if I, do I don't know if you could do that. I'd like and to try, if the, if the bank would question because it. Because if it would, that'll well, open a whole avenue of things. Well, and she's, you know, and, and again, she's like, you know, she's she's since married. She's got a different last name now. She's like, well, they can't even cash that because... That's got a different name and a different address. Is it worth the hassle it, for fourteen bucks? It ain't that it easy. might be. And I was like, it's not going to be. You either deposit the check or you don't. You're I fine. think she should be able to donate it to poor suckers like me 
who uh, owe a lot of money. A lot. Just, well, you know. A, a lot. Do we I have need to start a mind, GoFundMe for keep, Rob nah, Thompson's keep in, toll keep bills? Keep in mind, you know, they just take a picture of the, of the, of the license plate. Yeah. And I am currently the owner of five vehicles. Yes. Being driven by different people going different directions all the time. Bragger. No, no, I'm not bragging about this at all. <laughs> I'm. It's a different B I'm being. Yeah. Um. So they're in Houston. I get toll bills from Houston. I get toll bills from two different cities in the same day at the same time. It ain't physically possible for me to be in these two places, well, but my cars are. So I get bills pretty much weekly because I got one guy, one son dating a girl in Houston, sadly, on the other side of Houston. Oh. And then I got a, 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 a other son that is forever going to Austin or Dallas taking the toll road. So I get, I owe a fair amount Why for not? these roads. Why not? Get the sticker that allows you to pay because it's cheaper, by the way. It's it's a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. And they just deduct. And then you attach that to their debit card, which is actually to your account anyway. That's what I was going to say. (laughs) So what you're saying is that I can take a few steps and take more time out of my day to just pay them in a different way. It's going to be cheaper and it's always taken care of. You never get a bill. Yeah. Or I can just pay them every six months. Whenever I feel like, okay, they'll get it. But that, that again. No, no. Now, you again. say that. You are rolling a bit of a deb- – uh, and I don't know if I'm being exactly factual here, but I did see – I saw it on Facebook, so it must be true. But some guy was complaining. He got pulled over for a speeding ticket because of the money he owed the toll road. He actually got taken in until he got it taken care of. I, I don't know if that's a, a – I don't know if that – Is that in Texas or I, some other place? Well, I, I mean, he lives in Dallas. It's one of my Dallas friends. Interesting. Now, I, I don't know, know if there were some other things to it, but he was mad as hell that I owed toll money that I didn't know I owed, but I had to go to uh, – uh, they took me down to get that take care of, and I thought, well, there must be something else there. So I don't know if there was, but I thought, you you just seem to be one bitching on Facebook to bitch on Facebook about – your own problem. It's still your fault. So I could be a wanted man as we speak, right? I, I mean, I'm just saying. If is there, you get is a, my picture if you, up at the? If, uh, if you get a cop that needs to go back to the station anyway, uh, he might take you with him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's let, let's go. So my picture, my I might be a wanted man right I, now. I mean, for you could be a variety of tolls. A variety. Of I'm, them. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a toll thief. I'm a toll I, criminal. I, I, I mean, you know, living on the edge, baby. They, what they are you in for? They don't, they don't hey, give man. you six months credit. They give you thirty days credit. I was driving a hundred, but that's not why i'm here <laughs> yeah. i did 105 and the cop pulled me over not because i was doing 100 because i didn't pay the last time i did 100 100 down here so yeah. i'm a criminal i'm a breakneck speeder it, it very might well be that very it, might well be that and anytime you get to speed through hayes county or, or uh huddo you you need to speed through huddo All right. Why Hutto? I, that's the I didn't know where Hutto was till I took the tollway. Oh, really? I, I had no idea that Hutto was uh, East Austin. The Hutto Hippos. The fighting hippos. Yeah. Right there on the tow road. Absolutely. And, you know, now the tow road is really just, you know, you're just paying the the entry fee to get to drive by the uh, Tesla factory. Oh, that's exactly it's, what it's it just is. Like, it's just an entry just to go drive by. I always found it was weird driving through that part. You get the Taylor Ducks, the Hutto Hippos, and the Florence Buffaloes. And all of them just smell like Austin, right? I mean, it's like, of, of all the school nicknames, that's what you come up with. The smell like Austin. What, is, <laughs> what does Austin smell like? Like bad taco birria, patchouli, weed, and barbecue smoke. That be that would be Austin. That'd be an Austin color. Yeah, you right got to add in a little body odor too. Well, yeah, I mean, you, the you, don't, you, you, you don't you don't smell old spice. That patchouli stink goes along with the it, it, it uh, really with the does. bo. Yeah, Wemby's in Austin right now. Uh, a, a jury, break. A, a jur- yeah, he's got a little spring break. His jersey just sold autographed jersey at auction. What do you think an autographed Wemby jersey would go for? Right well, now, I would I would uh, I, I don't know. I I I'd, I'd pay at least two weeks of your pay. Two weeks of your check, I think, would be that might right get, in the realm. That might get you the W. Well, I'll tell you what a Wemby jersey went for. It's not near as much as I thought it would be, although it's still stupid expensive. Uh, we'll get into that coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star, St. Patrick's Day weekend, spring break going on, Rob's toll issues. You know nobody ever plans on getting arrested, but it does happen to a lot of people every day for all kinds of reasons. And those reasons sometimes can seem foolish, but either way, you want to get out of jail fast. You know the best way to do that is to call my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747. 
or you can start the bonding process online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you truly understand what all those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, have a free shuttle service. Of course, they are discreet and confidential and open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas, services nationwide. So if you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, anywhere in between, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online at mybestbailbonds.com. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ansira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94-1, San Antonio Sports Star. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Okay, pull over, sit down, stop what you're doing because you're about to be blown away. I shopped Kohl's friends and family sale and wow, I saved 20% with my coupon on really great picks for spring, like a cute dress for just $23.99. Plus I got my husband a polo for under 11 bucks, but that's not it. Then I saved 40% on Easter outfits for my kids and earned Kohl's cash. So yep, it's official. Kohl's is the best. Select styles, 20% offer in March 17th. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Find what you love, love what you find. A total wine and more. There's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer, thousands of wines. Walk right through the door. It's all here to explore. With guides in the know when price is so low, it just might blow your mind. You're gonna find what you love. And love what you find. Drink responsibly, B21. My brother in law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10 year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called Select Quote. Select Quote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high octane tournaments or lively cash games, for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at thebigblindsa.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. 
George Gets Justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George Gets Justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George Gets Justice. GetGeorge.com. Looky, looky. It's AM basketball tonight at 5 30 against Kentucky. The SEC tournament rolls on. 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. Rob Thompson in for Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jay Semenix live out at the roof of 281 and Redland Road. Great place to spend your Friday afternoon. Talking to my buddy Brian. He came in here for lunch. He's still here. He'll be here for dinner, too. Uh-huh. Probably late at night as well. Why, why not? Uh, no, nothing wrong with that. He, he's had a uh, hell of a week. Haven't we all? Haven't we? And first of all, Rupa, the vibe is perfect right now. Yeah. The weather's kind of... You know, kind of chill, but, yeah. uh, that dark color. Yeah, yeah. Music's perfect. The games are on. Yeah. Weather's ideal. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where y'all are going, but if you're not going to the roof pub, you're not going to the right place. Yeah, that's it. Come hang out Come with hang us. Out. It, it really is chill. Um, big, it, it's a busy day, and it, it's funny how the biggest news it, for me, for a lot of people today, is it kind of gotten slipped to, and, you know, it's in the, uh, it's like the a D Friday, block. Friday news dump. Yeah, it's very strange that we're not just celebrating the fact that the FBS idea of going to 14 teams has been concluded. They got it done. Now, we're still going to deal with 12 for a couple of years, but the uh, college football suits got together in the same room and divvied up some $8 billion worth of cash and got it done even better than we had had before and didn't really have to other than they wanted to make more money. Well, then all they've done is agreed that they're going to do it. ESPN has not agreed to pay more for first-round games, and, and, and they seem to be okay with moving forward and knowing the TV money is going to come. What I love is the 10 FBS conferences and Notre Dame <laughs> are expected to sign off on the key details. And what they have all done, the agreement is the precursor to approving ESPN six-year, $7.8 billion extension that runs through the 31-32 season. They've been negotiating this forever because, well, the Big Ten and the SEC want more, and they are going to get more, mm-hmm. nearly double the share of the CFP revenue as the ACC and the Big 12. Yeah. <laughs> but the, everybody's getting rich. The, the tide is indeed rising. And even though SEC is getting double, Big 12 is getting a whole lot more, too. Yeah. Um, everybody's getting paid. I found it interesting the way they kind of uh, fixed the Pac-12 situation and allowed the uh, the two remaining Pac-2 members to get some money on the side, even though they know they're not going to be able to go to the, t- the playoff until they can grow the, 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 the conference back to where they expect it to be. They they built that in. and um it's done. You know, it's it's funny to go, well, what's next? Uh, you know, because now they've got the money side of it at least kind of patched together. Now it's time for all those guys to get in the room and fix the portal. Well, we got to fix the portal and fix the collective. Those are the two things that now we got to get fixed. We got to, and the portal is secondary to me, but the collectives have got to be addressed. You know, it's interesting. I'm the opposite. I want to fix the portal. And then the the collective. Well, the inducements that collectives can offer well, have to be fixed. Well, but but again, though, I think I think the portal is a bigger issue because the schools with money are going to get them regardless. What I don't like, and you know, is you can go there, you can take money. It's not a contract. You can hit the portal and leave if the coach yells at you, or you're not you're not getting enough playing time. I don't like the portal. Uh, I thought we were going to go from two signing days to one. Instead, it looks like it's going to three. Mm -hmm. When you see college coaches leaving for lesser jobs in the NFL just to get away from this, a guy like Nick Saban, and and again, uh, Nick Saban's comments the other day, it's like, dude, seriously? I mean, but but I do think, you know, from a Nick Saban to just listening at times to Jeff Trailer and what Mm -hmm. it, it does, it will shorten the careers of a lot of college coaches because of what they are constantly having to do. I think the portal is the bigger issue. Then you can fix the collective. And I think a TV structure like this, the alliance that they're talking about, 
they all have to play by the same set of rules. And a big part now is every state has different rules, which is weird to say you kind of need federal government to make it same across or get me a commissioner of college football that can put rules in place that would supersede state rules or at least where they're all playing on a level field when it comes to the collective. I think the portal is an easier fix and a quicker fix, and it's step one. Uh, I'm not sure the portal is the issue. I, I don't mind the, the ability to leave. Players can quit and go home anytime they want. I, you know, I, I, I haven't been in situations and seen people in situations that they just had to get out of. I don't want to cut that off from them. But as the money part, it, it, I'm not even upset with the money. I love the idea of these guys getting paid. I don't like the inducements from collectives. And I think if we got rid of the collective that is the Wild West that are calling all these guys going, you know what? If you'll come here, you'll get paid. I think we'll lose a lot of the instant portal move. I, I do think people will be the players will be a little bit more apt to stay where they are. But I don't know. Heck, a lot of things have happened with unintended consequences. I, I'm going like to celebrate. This. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to celebrate the fact that they got this done. I think that they the next step is if you're all getting along right now, jump right in. Let's let's address this because we all know it's going. It, it's only getting worse, and the bomb will ex- eventually explode with these unintended consequences. That right now. I can't even fathom, but something bad is going to happen worse than we can even imagine if we don't address that part of it. But the good news is they got that done, and I, I'll celebrate that. Yeah, well, that that's true. But I think if you if, if you know player X, if Rob Thompson, you're on campus, you know because you went there and you accepted NIL money from Texas A and M. That uh, that's a bad example because you're you're, uh, you're so okay. naggy, you would never leave. No, uh, you accepted money from. UTSA, right? And and you've committed to Jeff Trailer, Rob Thompson. You're going to be the star quarterback at UTSA, and, and then the, and then the Aggie booster calls you and says, you know what? We're going to give you X if you come over here. And then all of a sudden, you hit that uh, portal, and now you're in College mm-hmm. Station. See, and I, I think once the portal is fixed, where you can't just transfer, uh, you can't just get mad and quit, or like you said, the inducement. I can go over there and get more That's money. That's got to go away. That I, I think the portal. If you eliminate that part, unless, of course, a coach leaves. I think if a coach leaves, then every player should have that option. Uh, that And that would be the one that one exception. Then I think a lot of the NIL stuff will fall in line because it just doesn't come down to every person getting money whipped in the portal as well as coming out of high school. Right Then it just goes back to the high school kids. And I think to address it, the universities need to be in more control of how much money is getting paid to these the players. It has to, they they need to be paid employees. We saw Dartmouth, the basketball team, is unionizing, and I think that's the next step to getting a lot. We all want to get down the same road. You want to be where I want to be. You see one way to fix it. I see the other side to fix it. When I see us both looking, and I think everybody listening all agreed on on what you just said. That's got to be fixed. This has got to be fixed. Well, you know, you take advantage of momentum, and there's a bunch of billions being played with right now, and everybody's feeling fat and happy. I mean, they, they, we have accomplished something, and we're getting into tournament time, and we're feeling good about ourselves. I'd like to see these guys sit down and start to address this and because the worst-case scenario – is turning into the best case scenario given the situation. And uh, remember a long time ago, uh, a former president, uh, Ronald Reagan, said there, these are the worst words you ever want to hear. Hello, I'm the government and I'm here to help. Yeah. That is not <laughs> what we want to hear. No, but you know what? That might be the only thing that can help this situation no. as we've let it get this far down the road. You also wonder, at the bigger universities, I don't think this is an issue. At a place like UTSA, it, it could mm-hmm. be an issue. It is. How long will the people that are currently donating to these collectives continue to write those checks? Mm-hmm. How long? Uh, I mean, because, you know, the, the athletic department is still asking for donations for the athletic department things. Now they're asking for donations through the collective things. And and if you've got a program that isn't winning, um, how it long are these up. rich guys going to continue to write checks for players that are there for a year or two and and then they move on or you get a number of dollars and he said that he was going to be here because there's no contract and there's no incentive Mm -hmm. and there's no uh you know and and then all of a sudden you know the guy gets more money somewhere else and he bounces I, i i just wonder how long will the rich people continue to say this is a good idea that 
that's the reason Saban isn't coaching right now. It's that kind of thing. And like you said, it, that's never going to be a problem at Texas. That's not going to be a problem at A&M. That, th- th- it'll be a self-sustaining money machine. But as these smaller programs continue to grow, yeah, I do think that there will be an elasticity to this, that UTSA will bounce back to the ne- norm. And some of that money that they're going to be used to ain't going to be always there just because it was fun. It was interesting while well, I got to talk with Frank, but uh, and then I got to meet the other guys, and now it's the third guy, and I don't really – care that much anymore you know and then that money doesn't come back that's a tough one for the next coach the, well how about the next basketball coach at utsa well and i, I mean so i i mean unlike steve henson i said this the other day when we had lisa Campos mm-hmm. on a couple of weeks ago and i asked about his future and she gave the standard answer of constantly evaluating we'll sit down at the end of the year and uh um that, that was a a, a quick conversation, yeah. a meeting the next day with the decision that had probably already been made. And a lot of times I say, if you're going to fire a coach, you better be able to go get somebody that's better. I don't know that she will be able to do that, to be quite honest. Uh, but it is going to be somebody different. And he's going to face the same issues uh, recruiting the UTSA basketball at the Convocation Center that Brooks Thompson had, that Tim Carter had. I, I, I mean, yeah, except for they got a shiny new practice facility coming, except and now and the promise of you're you know. in the American as opposed to in the Southlander Conference USA. It's unfortunate Steve coached at the time that he did because he is a good coach. Uh, there's no question he'll land on his feet. He'll be a fine coach someplace and else. He recruited well. He did as good as he could. Let me tell you, you know, when He's you can't show off your home court, when you literally cannot bring guys to your home games, it's hard to recruit. And, and when you do take him, you go, isn't this where you practice too? Oh, yeah, we practice here too. Uh, he's a heck of a coach that was in a tough situation. And, uh, you know, who the replacement is, you know, I'm hearing some, what did we hear? News for us saying Josh Pazner is one of those names that's being floated around. Boy, that feels like a, that's a, that's a, that's an interesting move. And we'll, we'll discuss that at another time. Well, we, um, it's kind of like the Coker hire. There, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of an odor to that one. You know, I, I, I just, I, I mean, I saw that, and, and I know I, I trust Don Harris and mm-hmm. in, in his reporting. I looked at that, and yeah. And, I, and, again, I'm looking at, you know, would it be an assistant, uh, you know, at a bigger place looking for that first head coaching job? Um, uh, you know. I don't think that uh, you can bring in a coach um, of too big a name, but this is a high D1 gig, and I do think – as you're building a program, a little bit of experience is required. I don't think that they should go for an assistant. They need to get a guy that's a custom. And, and Pazner, while, you know, had some recruiting issues and then, you know, Georgia Tech, I, I think his success at Memphis is really kind of signifies what he can do at a small school. And he is kind of a Patino. And, uh, well, no, he's, he's well, he's right. an acolyte of some other guys that have had some other issues. But I, I wouldn't be upset if Pazner was the hire. But uh, apart from that, when we talk about the NIL, that's one of those things. When you hire the coach, that's one of those things these guys are going to have to bring with them, their ability to, to kind of circumvent or to navigate the NIL. That's a new skill set that's going to be required for every new coach. Well, I mean, Juwan Howard's available now. Yeah, the irony of that going down all at the same time. That, that, that guy was a dead man walking all season. Yeah, if you hadn't heard, uh, he was let go today by – the University of Michigan. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star live out at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. What is a Wemby jersey worth plus the latest Cowboys free agency news? And they actually are doing some things today. Not adding, but subtracting. We'll tell you who. Coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Monday on the Morning Huddle, the brackets are set. We put on our glasses. The bracketology begins. Plus, the Spurs are back from Austin. How were the tacos? But more importantly, how were the games? The Morning Huddle starts at 6. We'll see you there. I want to tell you about Parkhurst New Vision. You've heard me talking about Parkhurst New Vision because, well, I'm very happy that I met those folks and took advantage of what they do. Last summer had lens replacement surgery, and let me tell you something. I see better now than I've seen in 30 years. In fact, my results were so good, my wife Maggie had her eyes done at Parkhurst New Vision, and she is loving the results as well. You can. You can go see the folks at Parkhurst New Vision. Get rid of those glasses. Get rid of those readers. 
give them a call, 210-585-2020. You can also check them out online at sanantoniolasic.com. When you call and set up your consultation, first thing I want you to do, if you would, tell them I sent you, Joe Reinagle from The Blitz. Second thing you're going to do is get out your list of questions and concerns. They will answer each and every one. Let Parkhurst New Vision do for you like they have done for my family. Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Vokey SM10 wedges. Made for lower flight, improved feel, and maximum spin. Unlock your ultimate wedge. Play with the new Vokey SM10 wedges. Visit us in store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldWideGolf.com. Get there. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Have you gotten your hands on Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB yet? Southern Recipe Small Batch offers big, bold flavors like hot honey, spicy dill, and sea salt and cracked black pepper. Bonus, you're going to love the low-carb, high-protein crunch. Turn snack time from ordinary to extraordinary with flavorful pork rinds. Pick up your favorite flavors of Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB today. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Do you constantly worry about whether or not you can perform? Have you completely stopped having adult time? Is it something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed male enhancement pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Mail Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax, 100% natural male enhancement formulas, only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. Or though now provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocations, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the quarry area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, Ortho now has everything you need to treat your injury. And best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win dollar prize at sasportstar.com. 
It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Joe Ryan Eagle has this Friday off on Jason Minix. Rob Thompson from the morning huddle. Morning. I mean, afternoon. Working a little double duty on this Friday leading into St. Patrick's Day weekend. And, of course, no better place to spend your Sunday for St. Patty's Day than here at the Roo Pub at 281 and Redland Road, which is where we are now. Great place to come hang out with us on a Friday. Uh, St. Patty's here is legendary. Just, yes. Uh, and you, if you know, you know. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun on Sunday. I can't wait. It's it's going to be a good time. Uh, and all the games that are going on this weekend tonight, um, got the Spurs uh, Austin. Yeah, the, that Spurs home game up in Austin. Yeah, that, that homer that uh, is going on. You know, they, they needed a break. They needed yeah. to get away from the, the hustle and bustle of San Antonio and spend a couple of relaxing days at South by Southwest. Some, uh, you know, the, the fun that's coming. You, you've been talking about a Wimby jersey. Uh-huh. Uh, that, so he had a jersey that was auctioned off, or did he? Uh... It was auctioned off, an online auction, that the bidding actually started at $14. <laughs> All right. Now, it's a Fanatics jersey, so not a game worn. Oh, okay. That, that, that tells me why the price is that. Okay. Now, the total price was $3,355. Dude, I've been to silent auctions for a high school where a Robinson jersey has gone for more than that. Well, I mean, sometimes it depends on your crowd. At a high school auction, you got a bunch of rich people supporting Central Catholic. Well, I mean, that's, just... that's, that's a little different, Rob. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, uh, are, are you kidding? A Blake Wesley jersey what? at that auction might have sold that, for three that grand. That is not what I meant. Oh, but... <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> no, it just that is ridiculously low, especially if it comes with the uh, the bona fides of him actually signing it. And I got proof that I can get a rookie signed Wimby jersey. Now it's like buying real estate, <laughs> and they ain't worth going to be worth anything now. But ten, fifteen years, suddenly there's some value to a. A jersey like this. Well, I, I saw that and I thought three grand. That's nothing. It, it, well, it, it, it's a lot, but you're right. It's I, it I mean, is a lot. I'm not. Well, but for but, that, but Wemby, and I tried to do some research on this, and I haven't been able to find out exactly what I was looking for. But Wemby doesn't sign a lot of stuff. He oh, signed really? an exclusive, either with Tops or Panini, and with Fanatics. And so, like when you see him pregame. He, he'll take a lot of photos, but he doesn't sign. And so his autograph is a little bit rarer. You don't know. Uh. Right? And it's a business decision. So when I when I look at it, but then I, I, I did Google searched Wemby stuff, and my goodness, a, a card is more than three grand. So a jersey, you know, uh, you had framing to it. Now you're at four grand. But <laughs> it, it, is that? And if it's in a frame, who cares if it's game worn or, or a Fanatics or, you know, the one that you bought at Academy? I didn't know that he wasn't active in, in the, the signing thing, but I guess that it, this is the day and age. Yeah. Does he have any NFTs, some NUFs? Yeah, I, that, that's above my pay grade, sir. Uh, I, I, I'm not uh, even. Are, are NUFs still a thing? Uh, sure, maybe. <laughs> I, I, I'm just curious. You know, they the, the the Spurs are playing the World Champions tonight. Uh, they they are. They are. It's, a, they are. it's, it's a, a it's a home game. They tell me. But if you go to the Frost Bank Center tonight, you're going to see Drake and not Wemby. That's right. <laughs> now, they, you know, I'd, I'd forgotten that there might be a much more important reason why this was going down, and it had nothing to do with the Spurs. It had everything to do with Jay Cole. I mean, he, he just made a call, and the Spurs had to go to Austin. Yeah, the, the Drake, who is evidently uh, my my son was telling me he's a Houstonite now. Drake is. So I've been told that he is like he's going to have a spin. I guess he's going to winter in Houston. I, I think there's better places to spin. But I have my son was telling me that he's buying some property like he's a, a Houstonite. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, real estate. I mean, uh, a lot of reasons to live in Texas when you have a whole lot of money and you, you don't want to pay a whole taxes, lot in taxes. Uh you know, that, that's certainly there. Now, what I saw in the Express News today is Drake, who has uh, skipped San Antonio many times in the past, yes, talked has. about how wonderful the crowd was, the liveliest show, and he's never skipping San Antonio again, uh, which I'm, I'm sure he tells all the girls. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, that's that, that that's part of the gig. It is interesting. We've got a double show, though. It does kind of show that there was a pent-up bit of demand. Yes. And what was it, like $800 for floor last night? It wasn't cheap. 800 that's what i heard that what? would be a steal was it oh okay 800 might be in the nose maybe please. it was ga is that what it was yeah. for ga yeah i i i would i i would think holy cow 
Um, I mean, if you want tickets, I, I don't know. Uh, it would but, be lost on me. You wouldn't want to waste tickets on me. I, well, they wouldn't be for you, but I'm sure your son would love to go. I mean, you could call your son, text him, and say, you know what? I called John over at Awesome Tickets. Oh, those floor seats were only eight grand. I got you two of them. You know, so I only got four of them. I so, mean, you got to yeah. start paying your toll tag, but I bought you these Drake uh, tickets. That That is a uh, – it is kind of amazing that they're here, one, and, and more amazing than that is someone who would actually pay that kind of money. It, it is. I, I, I mean, I can get it if I'm – if it's, you know, if it's Swift. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're a Swifty? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a Kelsey. You know, I'm a Swifty. I spend, an, I, I, I spend an irresponsible amount of money on concert tickets. So oh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, I, I get it. It's, it's such a weird time in music. And I, I know we're a sports talk show. Does Beyonce's got a country song now? Yes. I, I, I didn't know that. How did you not know that? Well, I, I'm kidding. Okay. I, 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 I mean, nobody is surprised when you say that. No, I mean, it, uh, I heard it the first time, and I thought that was Beyonce. Beyonce. And yeah. So it, it's a strange time in music that uh, at the same time that Beyonce will be uh, on the number one of the country hits, supplanting Tracy Chapman, uh, we had a double show of Drake and J. Cole in San Antonio. It's just a weird time in music. It, a uh, good time. Just yeah. Weird. Sure. I mean, we're not normally on the on the double show tour. You know, it, it is interesting when you look at bands or performers that can play two shows in a city. And when you look at the way a lot of concert tours are laid out, and one of the things I like to do is travel to other cities uh-huh. to see bands. And a big part of that is the bands I want to see aren't coming here. Right. Exactly. So, uh, but when you see that and you see a couple of days between shows when, uh, when it's first announced, then all of a sudden you see they've added that second show. So they kind of build that as a, as a possibility, uh-huh. you know, like this, uh, summer, I'm going to go see the Foo Fighters in New York. Uh, they're playing at city field and oh, awesome. yeah, they, they've got a Wednesday show and a Friday show. Well, what are they doing on Thursday night? Right. You know. I mean, just Dave Grohl hanging out in New York City somewhere. That's what they're doing. Um, you, you know, but, an, an acoustic show down but, in the Bowery. But it wouldn't surprise me if a third show were, were to get added in. Absolutely. If, if those sell, you know, Metallica did the double weekends. Taylor Swift was everywhere for a damn week, um, you know, going going through it. How much does South by Southwest play into Drake and J. Cole being here? Uh, I, I don't I, I don't know. I, I would like to think, well, the building was available because the Spurs weren't here. Exactly. So, you know, there's that. But at the same time, I think that, like, uh, I forget who made a guest appearance last night. And the, the name is escaping me. If somebody knows it, Pledge, if you saw this. But there was a big star there like that, a, a that directly because showed up of last night Austin. because they were in Austin. And they, they came down to the Drake show. And we used to, you know, growing up in, in years past, when we were always uh, over – overlooked passed by south by southwest always meant that we did get a little bit of a spillover both before and after some of those bands that were on tour anyway wanted to get a paying gig on their way in or their way out and they would swing through san antonio so we used to see a little bit of an uptick and we didn't have quite the number of venues that we do now so now now that we have the availability it's good to see that they're coming i just wonder if we'll stay on that tour because there's been a couple shows that passed us but you know billy joel coming i didn't think that would be a thing coming to san antonio either you know i seeing billy Billy Joel last week up in Dallas, and that was a show that was postponed a mm-hmm. year long before it was when that announced. Was cold. Uh, 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 long before the Alamo Dome was announced. Now, uh, you know it was Billy Joel and Stevie Nicks in Dallas. Now Stevie Nicks is playing at the Frost Bank Center in May on her own, yeah. and she still has it. Uh, my expectation for her wasn't great going into that show. Uh-huh. She, that voice is still so unique. She still has it. What about Billy? Uh, uh, Billy was Billy. Um, uh, but, you know, when you look at Sting and Billy Joel coming to the Alamo Dome, one of the things I thought was crazy is before the show and in between sets between Stevie Nicks and Billy Joel, the Live Nation was advertising the Alamo Dome show. Really? Nothing like seeing the Alamo Dome on Jerry World's biggest TV out there announcing Billy Joel because you don't see one venue advertising a a show at at another. 
but that's Live Nation. But when I look at, because the Moody Center opening, you know, the Texas Triangle is the Moody Center or Austin 360. Mm -hmm. So it's Dallas, Houston, Austin at one of those two venues. Keep in mind, I think Live Nation owns 48% of the Moody Center. So they are getting a lot of shows that aren't coming to San Antonio. And how these bands can't make a second swing through Texas or add San Antonio is beyond me. Uh, because San Antonio should be getting some of those shows that are going to the Moody, that are going to Austin, uh, going to Dallas, or going to Houston. Uh, El Paso is one that gets left out a lot, and I hate feeling like San Antonio and El Paso on the concert tour scene but are the same, the same city. But we're on the same strata, yeah. We are. We're on that same level. And that I, I just can't imagine that changing because of Austin. And now they're, they're, they're taking my basketball team, too. Yeah, Peso Pluma uh, was, was on stage last night with Drake. Thanks, Pledge. And uh, that is a dollar uh, pin? Yes, that's Basically. exactly. That, uh, that's exactly. So the what Peso that Pluma is. is a musician? Yes, yeah. Huge. Ah. Huge in the Latin world. Do you uh, ever is talk, that a male or do, a do, female? Do, do, uh, male. Do you ever talk to the guys across the hall in the morning? Does, does Johnny Ramirez not keep you up to date with that kind of thing? Keep in mind, I cross paths with Johnny Ramirez about 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. Neither of us are too conversational when we see each other. When is Johnny? Uh, Johnny's a great guy. No, Johnny, let me tell you, man. Johnny's a great guy. The thing about Tejano Radio is he's got to save up energy. Yes. Because once he goes in that studio, the switch is flipped, and that dude becomes a thousand percent of what he was, man. That is a rocking show. If you're not into Tejano Radio, listen to Johnny, man. The energy that comes out of that thing could power the rest of the studios. Yeah, Tejano 95.7. Johnny Ramirez, uh, he's fantastic. But you're right. Uh, Talking to Johnny in the hall and then listening to Johnny on the it's radio or watching cat. Johnny do radio, it, it's like, dude, you're two different people. It's like going into a phone booth and he comes out like <laughs> super Tejano, man. It, it's happening. Oh, good Lord. Uh, there is some uh, Cowboys news today. No additions, but some subtractions. Leighton Van Der Esch, gone. Being released with the injury designation. No surprise, his retirement is imminent. Michael Gallup also getting released today, Mm. uh, post-June 1 cut. So apparently he couldn't find a trade. When you look at what that means on a grand scheme of things, um, the entire 2018 Dallas Cowboys draft class is gone. Six years, I don't think that's awful. I really don't. I I don't think it's awful. It ain't good. But I think the Leighton Van Der Esch part of that deal makes it, acceptable that year i don't think it was a terrible draft it, it well and, and and i'll say while the cowboys are known as draft develop and pay their own guys there's only two busts on of their seven picks mm-hmm. and, and i say that one of them a flyer quarterback who got some time somewhere else in mike white bo scarborough uh the Big running back. back uh who just retired from the ufl because he couldn't make it through day three of their training camp um but Leighton Vanderus was your first round pick. Connor Williams mm-hmm. was your second round Still pick. Still playing. Coming off of an injury, free agent. You know, I don't know if there's a reunion there. You had Michael Gallup, Dorrance Armstrong, who just signed with Washington, Dalton Schultz, who just signed with Houston, Mike White, Chris Covington, Cedric Wilson, who Club just set. signed yeah. with the New Orleans Saints, and Bo Scarborough. So, not, I mean, that, I, you, that draft class was the reason why maybe Cowboy fans should have a little bit of hope. Well, I mean, you you look at the Cowboys have drafted well. Mm -hmm. I I mean, five of seven uh, are hits. You know, they're not all home runs. Uh, The fact that none of them are still with Dallas, you might look as as a negative. All you can do is acquire the talent. That's all I'm asking for them to do right now. Go find it and leave it to Jerry and Steven to keep them. And again, Michael Gallup looked like he could be that guy. Leighton Van Der Esch injuries. He's Sean Lee. You know, Connor Williams. You know, at the time they had to let him go, they had to make a decision, mm-hmm. and uh, they made a business decision, uh, but still a good pro. Dorrance Armstrong, that's of the of those that have left the Cowboys this offseason, aside from Leighton Van Der Esch, and that's injury, Dorrance might be the one that you go, man, I miss that guy. Uh, they, he, he's underrated. Um, you know, Cedric Wilson? I, I don't, All NFL dudes, man. Yeah. And, and when we get mad at the Cowboys for not doing anything and, and – taking cut players so they don't have to deal with uh, compensatory picks because they want to hold on to them. 
you know, and you look back at the 2018 draft and go, well, I can see why they want to do that because they do have an eye for talent. They can find the guys that now holding on to them and paying them appropriately at the right time and handling their contracts. That's an entirely different part of the equation. But as far as the talent acquiring, I'm not mad at the Cowboys and I don't. I'm not upset with them for how they've handled the first couple of days, but for the way that they led us into it. Yes. I think that is the problem that we all ran into because I was told one thing, or at least I believed one thing to be true when, in fact, it never was. And by the time it was manifested in their inactivity, I was so far down the road of what's happening. What I expected more. I was told there'd be big money or something big happening, and it just kind of fizzled away, and we're all furious now. Well, all in changed expectations it did it did and uh, and the fact that I, I mean the frustration of what appears to be inactivity i'm sure they are doing things behind the scenes right um you know when you were building your house i'm sure you were mad at the builder at times going what have you guys been nobody's doing? been in a house in three weeks you know yeah. what's going on well, well one yeah, thing has to happen before the next thing happens yeah. and, and, and and so Get the CD done. Get uh, get get Dak done. Or, you know, and even people that don't want Dak to be around, do something with this contract. So at least I know. Uh, and I think that is what is frustrating. And at the very least, Stephen Jones acknowledged the frustration and says he understands, which is you know, I, I mean, I, at least he didn't come across feeling like his head was in the sand. Like you guys have no reason to be frustrated. We're doing everything that we can. And we have to understand it takes two to tango. I mean, you can, but he said some of the more unfortunate things, you know, that you try to put and piece together because we can't quite understand why there hasn't been much going on. And when he says, well, you know, we're, we're, we're taking calls. Well, aren't you making calls? You know, I mean, I know what he meant, and I know that they're making calls. But when you say things like that, and it kind of reflects on, well, that kind of fits the narrative. You're not doing anything, and then you come out and say, well, we're busy. We're taking calls. Well, I'd like to see you dial one, one or two, make an offer, and when we hear and I know that Derrick Henry was never in the plans. They yep. weren't going to spend money on a running back. But when you hear Derrick Henry go, they didn't even call. I mean, you never know. You... Well, I, I, I mean, I used this analogy yesterday when that came out. Uh, Derrick Henry says the Cowboys never called. I, I, I used the realtor analogy. You knew you were never going to be in the ballpark where he was going to be at financially. Uh, so if you're a realtor and your client's, say, I want to go look at this house in the Dominion, and you right. know they've got no chance in hell of buying in the Dominion as a realtor, you're going to waste your time? Yeah, but make the call. Swing for the fences, baby. You want to be a cowboy? We all want to be a cowboy. Be a cowboy. Hey, we know you have an off-season home here, so we give you $3 billion, even though Baltimore's offering you 9 And I know they were realists and didn't want to waste anybody's time, but I do want to hear they're at least trying. You never know. You know what? What, what strikes me is, remember, Arizona made a call to the Texans and got them a wide receiver that I still believe they couldn't believe they made the deal. Well, they got them a legend, a Hall of Famer with a weird call and a dude that was out the door, and Obes answered the phone, and guess what? They got them a wide receiver because Obes was an idiot. So, you know, sometimes make the call. The question, though, did o o OB say, I need a new bag of Doritos. Let me call Arizona. They've got a lot of Doritos up there. Although the Texans have made some interesting moves in the last 24 hours that we're still, I'm still waiting to see what's the rest of them because right now it doesn't make sense. John McClain from HoustonTexans.com will join us at 4.15 today. Had to skip yesterday's regular appearance, so he's joining us today. We'll get the latest on the Texans, and he has seen – the Texans' new uniform, so we'll try to get a preview from John. We won't see them until the draft. More coming up here live at the Roo Pub 281 and Redland Road, the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. You're locked on the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Hey everybody, Joe Reinagle here. You know, if you're a poker player, the Big Blind is the place for you. If you haven't been to the Big Blind yet, why not? 
you need to get over there. It is the premier poker room in San Antonio. I've been to a lot of them here in town, and none of them compare to the big blind. It's an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. From daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments, you can celebrate the spirit of poker at the big blind. Look, it's from the owners of the Rue Pub and the Angry Elephant, so you know it's going to be first class. The big blind offers food and beverage served directly to your table, a full bar, and of course, all the games on all the TVs. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of them. The Big Blind is the place to be. It will solve your poker fix. Go check them out. It's right there next to the Rue Pub and the Angry Elephant at 281 and Redland Road. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dnpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. So you just used bug spray in your home. Now what? Well, between the waiting and waiting for things to dry up and keeping your family away from the mess, it hits you. You could have used Zevo. Unlike other bug sprays that stick around, Zevo goes from kill to clean in seconds. Plus, it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Now, during Staples Print Pig Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Pig Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details some people just know there's a better way to do things like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate or hiring someone to move your piano instead of doing it yourself so do things the better way bundle home and auto and save up to 25% with Allstate Bundled savings vary by state and are not available in every state. Saving up to 25% is the countrywide average of the maximum available savings off the home policy. All state vehicle and property insurance company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. 
The San Antonio Spurs play the Denver Nuggets tonight, a home game that's in Austin at the Moody Center, the first of two games this weekend at the Moody. The uh, Aggies, they play tonight. Kentucky, 5.30 here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Tip-off is at 6. And the Houston Astros, according to reports, interested in reigning NL Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minnix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 as San Antonio Sports Star. Joe Reinagle has the day off. Rob Thompson from the morning huddle. And for Joe, I'm Jay Semenix. We're live out here at the roof of 281 and Redland Road. Uh, that's a perfect place to be, man. Doors are open. What chill vibe. You got the, the big tennis match on. Grenholder and Mulken Snots versus uh, Krim Slotler and... and... <laughs> I see golf and big, basketball. Uh, You're no, watching tennis. It's right somewhere? here, right oh, here. It's the one it's right the big, behind uh, me. Brom Holder and Mulkin match. Uh, the, the the what? <laughs> There's, they, I was watching a, a doubles match with four names that had more consonants <laughs> than than should be allowed on a page. Uh, sounded like you needed to go get a shot. Uh, I think the guy's you got name a was what? Mulkin Schnatz. Yeah, I think was his name. Yeah, it's a, it's the big match. It's it's on right here at, at the Rupa. That's what you get when you come out uh, to a place like Any this. Any gold slogger with that? <laughs> you know. I brought up Goldschlager to my kids, and they looked at me like that was a four. I was like, it, it, it is, uh, you know, you, what, what's that? What's your drink? The red hot drink? What's your drink? Fireball. Fireball. It's it's just yeah, old school I, I reti- I retired Fireball. Well, you see, you started me on Fireball low those many years ago. Yeah. And well, it, uh, yeah. that was just regular old Goldschlager. Yeah, you know, I don't know what what happened, when, why. But all of a sudden, I just didn't like Fireball anymore. I, I moved well, on. it wasn't that hard. I, 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 <laughs> I, I still like a good shot of Fireball over vanilla ice cream. You know, I've never had it that way, but yeah, that sounds fantastic. Well, you go home and try it. Well, Goldschlager and Fireball to me will always be kind of synonymous with skiing and snow. Skiing and snow, I, mm. could, I could see that. You know, green teas are good. Orange teas are good. I, 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 I you know. Uh, anything not tequila, I'm I'm fine with. Tequila is still not my friend. Oh, oh I, I'm I'm all in, man. Every now and then, a good sipping tequila, I'll do. But like, uh, anyway, I'm doing shots of tequila, man. I am. Uh, uh, well, I, I'm pulling we're, a rock. We're I'm tequila. gonna disappear. We're for heading a few toward minutes. the tequila season. It's in you know, ranch waters. Uh huh. Some cheese buzz coming around uh-huh. the corner. Oh my yeah. goodness, we're almost there. Yeah, almost. Uh, almost. Oh, almost, but yet not quite uh, far away. Blitz says you need to fix your camera so you can get back on the YouTube oh, screen. What, what happened? If, I don't know. Apparently, it uh, uh, it, it uh, disconnected for a minute. Uh, Something oh, went we wrong. Try, try again. It, try again. It does happen if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. You can also uh, comment there, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Uh, come see us here at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. We're on the air today till 530. We planned on being on the air till 6. But the Aggies won yesterday, and and that means they play tonight against Kentucky. I do think the Aggies win yesterday gets them in. And and, and so does Joe Lenardi, uh, by the way. so Joey Brackets? Yeah, so if if Joey thinks you're in, and, and you look earlier today, Tennessee lost. And I was watching that game while I was making lunch before I came over here to the Roo Pub. And they were just – they showed up and didn't give a damn. And and Rick Barnes w- w- was mad at his team because <laughs> of the way they started. And that might be A&M's only chance today against Kentucky because Kentucky knows where they're going. They know what they're doing, and they don't need a well. long tournament run. So maybe they show up saying, man, Nashville's been a whole lot of fun. We were at that Garth Brooks new bar last night. And, uh, yeah, Aggies, man, you guys have fun here. I hope. I hope. Now, the AM has beat them. They're capable of it. It's all guard play with them. Uh, but a and sadly, is a team that just can't shoot. Uh, they, they have to win other ways. If they can hold on to the boards, if they can play athletically, number 11 uh, for a and if he if he 
does his typical Rodman self and either boots or Wade Taylor brings it. Uh, I think they've got a chance. I do think that they deserve to be in the SEC is tough enough, but I'm not counting anything done. And Tennessee losing might open the door to maybe another team getting in in the SEC if, if somebody makes a run that might not have gotten there. Um, it, it's not a done deal. And I'll tell you this, as an Aggie, I'm gun shy when it comes to the committee. Well, and you should be. We talked about that yesterday with Andrew Monaco. Yeah, there, there's no trust with the committee, but they were a bubble team going in. I, I Tennessee losing today, they're probably still a one. I think they should right? be. They uh, you know, with what they've done, I, you, you look, could there be seven? Could there be eight? Do, do you like the fact that we don't know? Do you like the drama of we got to play through or, or, you know, and rely on Joey Brackett's? I mean, or, or should we know kind of like the, the the bowl committee starts giving us a couple of weeks ahead of time? These are our top four. These are our top ten. Now, you're going to have to do something to change it. I, I'm not sure I wouldn't prefer that instead of the Joey Brackett's guessing. Well, I, I mean, you, you, you look at it, and I, I, I don't know. I, I, you're an Aggie, so you might look well, at it just, differently. You know, all these schools that – we love the televised drama of Selection Sunday with the lot with the camera in the locker room, knowing full well of the eight schools that they have planted cameras. Three of them are we're going to see the agony of defeat. You know that they're going to be thinking maybe possible. Yeah, yeah, cameras on. They're not in, and we get to see the sadness, and we want that. But why are we inflicting that on the kids? Why can't we start today saying, "All right, the committee, as we sit now, this is what the sixty-four looks like," and we will reevaluate tomorrow. But if these guys win, they're in. There's no doubt. If they lose, they are out. Instead of us looking to Joey Brackets in the in his well, parents' basement, going, I mean, "Well, I just read something, and I think that they might be the the first four Kind of, he's got like four different lists. Well, sure. First four, last four, maybe well, in, maybe if, not. If you're a bubble team, see, and again, the agony that you're going through as an Aggie fan uh, with your team on the bubble. I'm a Longhorn fan. They lost the other day. Doesn't matter. They're going to be an 8-9 seed regardless. And I kind of felt that going in, whether they had a good tournament run or not, they were an 8-9 seed. Mm -hmm. Houston's going to be up there. Baylor's going to be up there. I, you know, so, I mean, I, when you're in and you know you're in, it's just a matter of seeding. And again, trusting the committee. But wouldn't you like transparency? I mean, wouldn't you legitimately like to know today that uh, on Thursday that a And M, worst case scenario, uh, we are a ninth, uh, you know, a twelve seed, or you know, best case scenario, we're a ten seed or something like that. So you can kind of round into it, so we don't have to suffer, guys. You know, make them wait till Sunday afternoon to know. Oh well, I guess it's the NIT. I mean. I guess if uh, that's your option, so you don't like Selection Sunday, you don't like to be well, surprised. I, maybe it's the brackets that need to be in there. I just think as we 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 crave transparency in all the sports, we wanted to know what the bowl committee was thinking. So give us an idea ahead of time, so it's not this shock at the end of the season that you're voting BYU in or something weird. And you know we we allow we changed that we we tried to fix it. And now we're still doing the old thing with Joey Brackett's being our only real guidepost into whether these bubble teams are in or not. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I could see it both ways. I mean, I know my team is in, so I don't give a damn. Well, I get the I drama of the I, Sunday. I don't want to take away from it, but I also don't want to be the, the crying kid meme on Sunday when, you know, I didn't get in and I thought I legitimately had because Joey Brackett's thought we had to. I, I believe there's a term that a good friend of mine named Rob Thompson told me about. It's called battered Aggie Center. Yeah. Well, this and, has and nothing to do with Aggies. Aggie is it showing, really does Even though you're telling me it is not. Well, you know, your it really Aggie doesn't. But I have been that guy with the camera on him like last year. Like, what the hell happened? I thought we were in. That's it. We'll talk some football coming up, some big news out of the NFL. Jimmy Garoppolo has found a new job. He's going to hold a clipboard for Matthew Stafford. Jimmy G signs with the Rams. What are the Texans doing? John McClain joins us next here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you're a business owner, a manager, a club leader, and you need your logo on any kind of gear, get into Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. If you need caps done, 
get in and see Sam. He has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom right now, just waiting for your logo. He even has the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. If you need that nice logo on any kind of golf shirt, fishing shirt, dress shirt, Sam will get you taken care of. If you need uniforms, he has over 700 uniform lines to choose from, from all kinds of industries. If you need t-shirts screen printed, go see Sam. Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. Nobody has better prices. Sam has all the big name brands. So call 210-824-3900, 824-3900, or better yet, get into that massive showroom on San Pedro, a mile inside Loop 410, next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, per Sammy's Embroidery Club. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ansira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch. Ten minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic. Benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th. Presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many bottles, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find at Total Wine and More. Spirits not sold in Virginia and North Carolina. Drink responsibly, B21. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack. And of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find at Total Wine and More. Spirit not sold in Virginia and North Carolina. Drink responsibly, B21. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Do you constantly worry about whether or not you can perform? Have you completely stopped having adult time? Is it something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed male enhancer pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Mail Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax. 100% natural male enhancement formulas only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-9047. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-9047. That's 800-575-9047. Tax Relief Advocates. Real solutions for real people. By texting 64,000, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages from Babbel. Message and data rates may apply. No purchase required. Terms apply. Available at babbel.com slash TNC. My new exercise bike. Yeah, more like my $1,500 coat rack. At Babbel, we get it. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language. My Spanish starts and ends at audios. 
Make it easy on yourself with Babbel. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Hola, Espanol. It starts here. To try Babbel free, text RADIO to 64000. Text RADIO to 64000. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star, live out at the Roo Pub, 281 in Redland Road. Great place to come watch some basketball today. Aggies play at 6. Spurs have that home game tonight up in Austin against the Denver Nuggets. Watch it here at the Roo. And then, of course, the St. Patrick's Day party coming up on a Sunday, an all-day party that will start at 11 a.m. I'm Jason Minnix. Joe Reinagel has the day off. Rob Thompson sitting in for Joe this afternoon, every morning now on the morning huddle. Nice to get you back out in the afternoon here on the Blitz. And, it, it, and not that it happened this way on, on uh, by design, but some things work out well. Because John McClain had to had to move yesterday's appearance to today. And I thought, well, that's going to be great because, yeah, I don't think you've talked to John McClain, the general, in a long time. John McClain on the Buyer's Barricades guest line. How's your Friday, John? It's going great, and Rob. It's great to hear somebody bring some class to this show for a change. Yeah, you know, I had to save up, and but here I sit, John McClain. Uh, it, it is a genuine pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. And as we sit here today, I was ready to kind of celebrate what the Texans have done over the last couple of days. Can 24 hours erase a great uh, free agency period as a, you paid a running back a whole bunch of money and then you traded a bunch of picks to the to the Vikings? What's going on? Well, they traded uh, their 23rd pick in the first round and a seventh round pick for two twos and a six. And what they need, defensive tackle, cornerback, and wide receiver. They've got five picks in the first, in the second through fourth rounds, and they think they can get them there because those are deep positions. And their two wide receivers both came in the third round, so there's no need to spend for that position of the first and second round. So, I'm still thinking when they get to the first pick in the second round, it's going to be a defensive lineman. You know, John, as you say that, I, I, and I see that, and I as, as well as Nick Casario has done, uh, at first glance, I'm like, why would you do that for Minnesota? So I'm ready for the next domino to fall. Do you think there is more coming here, or he just didn't want to have a first-round pick? No, nobody never not want to have a first-round pick. You know, everybody would like to have as many as they could stockpile. Everybody thinks now Minnesota will package that to move up to get J.J. McCarthy because the top three picks are supposed to be quarterbacks, and then McCarthy is the wild card. It's just a matter of where they could get McCarthy. And uh, so as far as what the Texans do, they got nine picks right now, and there's no way Nick Casario is going to sit on his hands. He never does. There's other free agents at positions they need, like safety, still out there. You're going to be able to get everybody else cheaper. And when they get to the draft, I don't know what he'll do, but I know he's going to make more 
trades because he always does. He gets ants in his pants. <laughs> He's a wheeling and dealing man. That he sure really is. Uh, John, uh, why pay Joe Mixon when you seem to look what it appeared that through the trade, the Texans had kind of beat the system and got a, a good running back at a really low rate for a year? Well, they believe because he had more touches than he back in the NFL last year at over He's had over four, he's had 4,000 yard seasons. Devin Singletary left for the Giants. He's never had 900. And they think in the scheme they run, the zone scheme that Damian Pierce has been unable to adjust to, that that's right up to Mixon's alley. And Mixon is a really good receiver. He had over 1,400 yards from scrimmage. I think he had 12 touchdowns. He's 27. He'll play it. 28 next year. They gave him a three-year deal that was 12th in the NFL among running backs. And uh, if they don't like it, they can always get rid of him after one year. Uh, you know, when, when you look at it, were, were you surprised, John, that they gave him that three-year deal as quickly as they did? Because it did feel like the trade was so you didn't have to pay him market rate. And then they come out and they end up giving him that, that new deal, which is market rate. Yeah, well, he... Uh, he was due to make just a tad short of six million, counting a roster bonus that they had to pay. But if Nick, one thing to keep in mind: Nick Casario does not do things that D'Amico Ryan's doesn't want to do. And so I wrote last week that even if I disagree with some of their decisions, I believe based on what we've seen them do together, they deserve my trust. And so I'll trust that they know what to do. And it'll work, not all of them, but most of them will work out well the way they have so far. John McClain joining us here on the Blitz. is almost, almost said like the morning that. huddle. Almost, that. almost said go. the morning cuddle there. John, uh, you know, uh, while we're talking about D'Amico and the, 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 the free agency period that the Houston's have had, it's been spectacular. More people are excited about the uniform alteration than anything else. We're not going to see it till the draft, but have, have you seen what we're going to with the I saw everything there? yesterday, every uniform, every color. I saw them front, back, up close, at a distance. It was amazing. It was like I was going to the White House because we had to have our, we had to give them our phones. They put them in plastic bags with their names on them. We had to sign confidentiality clause. So what I've done is I tell people this, and they will be unveiled on the 23rd, two days before the draft. And I saw them, and I think they're spectacular, and fans are going to love them. And it's amazing to me that fans get so worked up over uniform changes because if you're bad, those uniforms don't look worth a damn. And the uniforms the Texans had last year for the 22nd year in a row, they look damn good. Well, they do, and and it's funny when you – think about old school uniforms you know you know rob and i uh, have been talking spurs for so long here in san antonio and you know the the fiesta colors weren't good for the spurs yet now people can't get enough of it with those throwbacks now what can you tell us about the new uniforms because we've seen like the eagles are changing the script it's like they they change the font on their word document and that's going to be it if that is true. Is it new scholars, uh, colors, maybe There's Oilers? Powder blue uh, well, if I, uh, if I tell you any of that, consider not signing the confidentiality agreement. They're going to have me killed. Now, well, do you want me to be killed? No, we don't want you to say anything. And by your silence, you can agree or disagree. Uh, is there I'll tell you, hey, is I'll there tell a you this. Involved? I'll tell you this. That's because uh, Bob McNair always wanted uh, red, white, red, white, blue. And uh, that was really important to Bob McNair. They will still have red, white, and blue, but it'll be a lot different. Ah, ah. what color blue? Uh, well, maybe, maybe, I mean, it's just a lighter shade. I, I don't know. And again, he signed a non uh, a confidentiality agreement. So we'll have to go with that. I, I, let me ask you this, John. If you thought they were awful, would you tell us? <laughs> yeah, of course I would if I thought they were terrible. And I'm I'm uh, I'm old school. I generally don't like change, and I really like the Texans uniforms. When they unveiled that red helmet, I I thought they that was when they were losing two years ago. They unveiled the red helmet. That's the only thing that fans liked about the team. 
And I wish that they could use those red helmets with every uniform combination. And you can use them for three games. And they are wildly popular. And uh, so that's all I can tell you. I, I, I knucklehead question as we visit with John McClain, who now writes for HoustonTexans.com. Why did they let you see these things? If you can't they they let a bunch of reporters see these things where you can't actually talk about what you saw. Probably because I will go on, let's say you're the fifth radio station that I've done. And I've talked about how exciting they are spectacular and how much the fans are going to love them. So I thought it was marketing genius because everybody there is going to go say the same thing on Twitter and uh, on talk shows on, on social media. And the idea is to work the fans into a frenzy. Well, oh, we're so, frenzy. So, so John McClain is essentially a stripper right now. Work everybody into a frenzy, but, you there know, is I, no I, sex I, yeah, in the yeah, champagne exactly, room. Exactly. Uh, that, that is nobody's going to give me one dollar. That's for sure. <laughs> well, you know, you know those strip clubs that make say, it you know, Ninety-nine beautiful girls and one ugly one. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> That's, That's terrible. That's so terrible. <laughs> I should th- I should come over there and let on a Saturday night, and you make it rain because that'd be the first time. Yeah, yes, it, it, it would. would be. It wouldn't yeah. be ready. You understand how cheap <laughs> it'd be? Mystic. You'd be. It'd be hailing because it'd be nickels. John McClain. Buffalo to... nickels, though. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. John, as we, as we, I think, I guess we're waving goodbye to Aaron Donald. His his place, it, it, from your perspective, as the longtime NFL guy in the uh, in the NFL world and on the defensive line world, uh, as he waves goodbye to the league. Rob, the greatest defensive tackle slash defensive end because he played up and down the line I've ever seen is Reggie White. He's one of the five greatest linemen I've ever – greatest players I've ever seen despite both sides of the ball. And I think Aaron Donald's right up there with G.J. White, right behind Reggie White. I don't think we'll ever see another Reggie White. You know, John – Hall of Fame voter, and you look at Aaron Donald and you say first ballot Hall of Famer. And third kind of big retirement already. How many first ballot Hall of Famers can that class have in five years? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that's going to that'd be very, very interesting. But I do know this. There'll be no question on Aaron Donald. Just like when J.J. White and Tom Brady come out, there'd be no question on J.J. White and Tom Brady, of course, not so why he should have waited a year. So, because uh, Brady and the Patriots will steal that show. Well, they, they will. But I, I, again, I mean, you think about we use the term first ballot Hall of Famer a lot. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and in this case, I, I think, you know, you could be saying like literally three first ballot Hall of Famers. For those on the committee, how tough is it? When you see multiple guys that everybody talks about as a first ballot Hall of Famer, knowing that you're going to be put in a room, forced to make tough decisions with other candidates who are deserving, yet you get all these people that are, you know, universally looked at as first ballot types. Who are the other two that y'all think are at first ballot automatics? Who uh, who all is retired this year? I, I know Fletcher Cox, who probably isn't in that category, but somebody else retired that I thought, well, that's a first ballot Hall of Fame type. Was it well, you can't you can't have a Hall of Fame first ballot type. You got to have first ballot beyond the shadow of a doubt. Some of the greatest players in history didn't make it on the first ballot. That has got to be a no brainer. Aaron Donald is a no-brainer one year after Tom Brady and J.J. Watt. Who are all first ballots. And John McClain, a first ballot Hall of Fame human being. I know it's been, uh, John, on a personal level uh, for the Houston uh, media scene, radio scene, a tough 24 hours with somebody that you have known extremely, extremely well with the passing of, of Fred Bauer. And, and for those listening in San Antonio that come from Houston, uh, at 59, uh, that was a stunning loss when uh, I, I, I didn't know if he was ill. I don't know any details, but uh, to see on Twitter last night they, that, that Fred was gone was a uh, gut punch. It was. Fred was assistant sports editor and a sports editor of the Chronicle. I knew him from six years old because his dad was my first mentor at the Chronicle in 19, 
76, and uh, Fred was also the editor of Gallery Sports, and 12-year talk show host here on 97.5, the ESPN affiliate, and uh, we were stunned. He hadn't been in the best health, but he was fine. I talked to him two weeks ago. He went to a Chronicle party two weeks ago to see a former Chronicle uh, writer that worked under him, and people are just stunned here, and uh, I feel terrible for his family. His mom's still alive, two kids, two brothers, and he had a lot of fans there. Absolutely, he did. And, and just a, a, a great human being when I would see him at, at Texans camp or different things we would do down in Houston. Like I said, a, a gut punch. And I know uh, coming on today and doing what we normally do, uh, the professional that you are. But uh, um, yeah, I, I know it's it's been a tough day for, for everybody down there in the uh, Houston media scene. You know, everybody, you know, you, you think about the competition that everybody's in but in reality we're all friends and uh you you root for each other and, and i know it's been a tough day so pass along our condolences and appreciate you taking the time with us today john jason and rob thank you guys very much and uh, uh i've been on three stations here talked to my national station tv this morning about fred and i appreciate you let me talk about him in san antonio thank you yeah. guys have a great weekend rob Great talking to you again. You too. God bless John McClain, the general right here on the Blitz. Absolutely. Sounds good. Make sure you follow John on at Twitter at McClain underscore on underscore NFL. And now read his great work at HoustonTexans.com as he joins us, as all our guests do, on the Buyers Barricades guest line. White Helmet, where they baby. provide a traffic control rental and sales for San Antonio and beyond online at BuyersBarricades.com. White Helmet? I, you know, Kind of a white and red and blue, kind of an all white theme. I, 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 with a little bit of a powder blue. But, well, there, obviously I, with the powder blue. I, yeah. I just wish they would change the bowl logo. See, um, yeah, me too. And, 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 and that and, ain't going to happen. And, and as, as I say that, you know, Greg Shelton, our engineer, starts shaking his head. The problem with that logo is it looks different depending on which yeah, side you're looking at. It, it's, it's, um, um, you know, I, yeah, I, I I don't know. This is the first step in what will ultimately be the right move. Yeah. And the adoption of what should have always been there. This will be the first step in a, a five, six-year process where they finally get the colors that need to be worn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a, a big old check to Amy. Uh, might might exactly get it done. Although, I don't know if there's enough money in the world for her to give that up while she's alive. Uh, you might have to wait for great, 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 great grandchildren, yeah. and we won't be around when it finally does happen. Uh, you heard uh, John talking about the Texans, the Cowboys making some moves today. No additions, but a couple of subtractions. We'll give you the details coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It's the morning huddle with Rob and RJ. Monday on the morning huddle, the brackets are set. We put on our glasses. The bracketology begins. Plus, the Spurs are back from Austin. How were the tacos? But more importantly, how were the games? The morning huddle starts at 6. We'll see you there. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-385-9302 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-385-9302. That's 800-385-9302. What do you have to lose? Call 800-385-9302. Again, 800-385-9302. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. For more than half a century, contractors and trade professionals have relied on WeatherGuard for heavy-duty truck and van storage equipment, not just to protect their valuable tools, but to protect their professional reputations. For pros, the WeatherGuard badge makes a statement about what drives them. It says, bring it on. 
been there, done that. We've got your back without saying a word. And the folks at WeatherGuard, they're just as driven as the hardworking pros they serve. See what it means to be driven at WeatherGuard.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Join Jason and Joe from the Blitz in Las Vegas Thursday, March 28th at Circa Resort and Casino in downtown Las Vegas to celebrate the start of the season with the ceremonial first pitch by Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. Catch all the games on the Circa Las Vegas 78 million pixel screen while you feast on Coney Dogs by American Coney Dog, complimentary apple pie, and more. And oh yeah, moms drink free. Don't miss the first day of baseball at Circa Resort and Casino. Visit CircaLasVegas.com for more information. Book your trip now. CircaLasVegas.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. The smart way to clean your floors. It's time to make the swap. Swiffer Power Mop. Introducing the new Swiffer Power Mop, the all-in-one tool that gives you a mop and bucket clean in half the time. The solution's built right in. So no heavy bucket, and the pad has hundreds of scrubbing strips to get deep into grout. Don't mop harder, mop smarter. Swift for power mop, swift for power mop. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. A bottle of Lucas Complete Fuel Treatment can clean your system and help your engine get more MPGs. Right now, you can get two bottles for only $9.99. A great deal to help you go a great deal farther. Find Lucas Complete Fuel Treatment and everything you need for better fuel efficiency at any one of our 6,300 stores. Get in the zone, auto zone. Restrictions apply. Joe Reinagel here. I want to tell you about something that has completely changed my life. I had vision correction surgery at Parkhurst New Vision. The results are amazing. The readers are a thing of the past. Hey, if you're like me and tired of those glasses, call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020. They offer a variety of services like vision correction surgery. So call Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020, or get them online at sanantoniolasic.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get to Twin Peaks for their beer-battered fish and chips. This beer-battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries, and score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lighter Coors Light for just $12. That's every Friday through Easter. Twin Peaks! Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Looky, looky, it's AM basketball tonight at 5.30. Against Kentucky, the SEC tournament rolls on. 94-1, San Antonio Sports Star. Why do I get the sense, Rob Thompson, who's in for Joe Ryan Egalon, Chase the Phoenix, that big voice guy is surprised AM won yesterday? Hey, looky, 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 look, look, what the hell is that? He <laughs> doesn't sound like the, the, the voice guy that should be trying to make a funny. Uh, you know, it, while Aggies, uh, you know, we, we, our considered opinion, and, and uh, as, along with Joey Brackets, is that they are in. There, there's more than a, one reason to watch the game for Aggie fan and Spur fan tonight, because Kentucky tonight, Reed Shepard, uh, pay attention to the, to this rumor. This is a guy that I do think fits a lot of what the, the Spurs are looking for in a uh, kind of a swing guard. Got some point guard mentality. He's a shooter. Um, there's some measurables that might be in question. And Rob Dillingham, the other guard uh, for Kentucky, is a guy that is a walking bucket who could also be a target for the Spurs in one of those picks, uh, depending on where Toronto ends up. So uh, more than one reason to watch the Aggie game tonight. With the uh, Aggies winning last night, that means we're out early today. Andrew Monaco will have the Aggie broadcast with the pregame show starting at 530. Tip-off is at 6. Now, 
You'll listen to the game, obviously, here on 94.1 or watch it with us here at the Roof Hub, 281 and Redland Road. Uh, we're not going anywhere. I mean, Rob's out already on a Friday, so he, he's not going anywhere. He's texted the wife. Uh, I, I've texted, uh, you know, and, and we're, we're hanging out, man, dinner and, and, and drinks and watching some basketball tonight, probably continuing much of the same conversation. Before I get into the Cowboys, uh, I just got an email. Um, we are down to one foursome. I was wondering if we'd picked up a couple. We had nine so, this morning, so, our, so we're down to four. Our, we are down to, we've got one foursome and I think one single. Okay. But, but here's the deal. We're that close to being sold out. So if you don't have friends, just pick up that single spot right now at sasportstar.com. Because once that is gone, you won't be able to, buy, like, like three guys can't sign up individually at this point. There's one single left available. You think that's how it's going to measure and, up? And, well, I think that's how they set it up in the in the mm-hmm. trying to read an overly a detailed email that I don't understand from Nick. Uh, uh, you can go in and you can buy one single. Like there's one available to okay. buy or one foursome to buy. So if you don't if you don't have any like three guys need a fourth, you can be that guy whether you're good or not. It doesn't matter. You're going to be drinking a lot of fly by Yingling anyway. We can't wait to see you. And one foursome left. So if you've been waiting to hear back from what's his name on whether he's going to get off work on Monday, March 25th to head out to the golf club of Texas, don't wait. Get that foursome because I'm guessing by Monday we are going to be completely yeah. sold out. It's a new record. SASportsStar.com. Let's get sold out. I'd like to get an email before we're off the air at 530 that we are sold out. Golf club of Texas, March 24th. So or, Monday or 25th, 25th. Yeah. Fourth, fifth. That's yeah. Sunday, the 24th. Fifth. That would be typical. Yes. Uh, fly by England. Uh, after party, 90 proof, 90 proof bar and grill. Going to be a good man. I, it, whole, it, it, thanks whole to whole. everybody. This is a new, the earliest we've ever sold it out. It's Cause San Antonio is a walk-up market. We're used to it. Yeah. Um, two, two weeks out. Um, get, get it done. If you, if you're thinking about it, just go book it now. You know, you're going to find for, especially if you say I've already booked it, what are they going to tell you? No. It's a right. hundred bucks, right? Uh, a person, so four hundred for that foursome, one twenty for that single that's out there. Get yourself signed up because next week, and it happens every damn year. Every, well, I say we do twice a year, every tournament. Hey man, hey, I tried. Hey, what happened? Let uh, me in. Uh, uh, you, are, are you sure you don't have one? No, I, I mean, it, are you guys getting to play? No, we okay. got we're, we're right. at ninety proof at two. Right. Well, I thought you might, might. No, you can't. Can you? No, you we we drive around and uh, we take shots with people. That's what I'm golf doing. shots, boss. That too. Yes, that, uh, that too. We we t- we take golf shots, you know, because Ryan Agle, you know, likes to go out there and show off and then shank one and then you know I'll stripe one right down the middle and he'll get pissy and uh, wear his white belt and uh, you know all all that good stuff. A uh, beautiful course. You haven't been to Golf Club of Texas. It's a great chance to go out and see the place. And uh, what for what we expect going to be a full and fun day, I, I got to start carbo-looting now. We're only two weeks out. The 10-day uh, forecast looks really good for that Monday, far better than this weekend's forecast. So, again, sasportstar.com, sell it out. Do me a favor. And, you know, again, we're off the air today at 530. I'd love to get an email from the boss saying that we are sold out. Uh, go, if you're thinking about it, yeah. stop thinking and make that decision and, and go. SASportsStar.com. Plus, you get a chance at a hole-in-one that could win you 50 grand and a trip to the big game, which is next year in New Orleans, brought to you by Ansira Auto Group. So go get go get yourself signed up at SASportsStar.com. Any of those Ansira types going to be out there playing? Uh, it's possible. Is it? It, 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 it? It's possible. You know, they're, 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 they're good if it's who I think is going to be there. Yes. Good. All right. I, yes. I, I'm I'm really excited about it, and I, I am amazed at how early this sold out. It just it kind of goes to show that anybody who's ever played knows it's worth coming back. Uh, absolutely, and that's that's the bottom line. So, uh, good time will be had by all. RJ Ochoa is going to be in town. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. He, yeah. He's coming in. So you know, if, if uh, you want to see RJ in person, he's actually going to uh, leave the house in the valley and 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 drive up. You know, RJ. Well, you know, he's been on our waves for for you know years now. After Rock the Mike Champ, and you know, been our Cowboy Insider for so long. Um, he is a digital rock star yes. paired with an analog dude. Yes. Um, every time I'm around RJ, random people are like you're RJ Ochoa. Just come up to him out of nowhere. What I love about RJ living in a digital space, and you know, we're radio guys. We go out all the time, you know, like we are here 
at the Rue Pub. We live here. Uh, you know, most of our, our following is from here, although I'm always amazed when they give us reports on where people listen right. online from, from sasportstar.com or all the various apps and, and whatnot. That's always interesting. But also I kind of figure those are people from here that want to taste a right. home because the national shows aren't going to talk Spurs or UTSA or, or that sort of thing, right? But RJ's world is 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 uh, digital. And what what I find amazing, like at the Super Bowl, whether in this year in Vegas or when he's traveled with us before, he knows people and has relationships with people that have only been online for like, years, eight, like for eight years. Same guy. Talked with him for years, never met him face to face out of Australia. And, al- always on a screen until you meet, I don't know, at the food court at the Mandalay Bay. It's a it's a it's a world that I am only now kind of understanding the nuances to as yeah. you know, as we become the influencers out of here uh, at the Rupup and we're influencing as we speak. Well, that's and that, that's on our YouTube channel. Yeah, I should mean, be watching. You know, people, Put a thumb on it as we say. Yeah, absolutely, and subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. You you could certainly do that. But yeah, so RJ in person is a big deal. He's coming in for our golf tournament. He will also come in for the Valero Texas Open yes. in, a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that was a real difficult discussion to have with him. You want to come up and go to the Valero? Yeah. Uh, that, that was an easy yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, uh, how's Rory doing today? Um, uh, let's check the leaderboard. Uh, I, don't, I don't see I see a Scheffler sitting in at four under. Or yeah, is that, or Cl- is that Clark four? is the leader at 14 under. Oh, that's 14. Yeah, Fitzpatrick, it was at nine, eight. Is there, as you watch the, 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 the players that's going to be on all weekend long, I, there is no scarier golf shot in the world than that camera behind every golfer at 17 just looking at the water. Every time they light up there, it is the best camera angle in all of golf, even better than the Masters. Seeing those guys behind the tee box with nothing but water in front of them and the little green dot way down the lake. Uh-huh. The most terrible, that's my dream on uh, my nightmare on every hole I picture that 17th there at the TPC. How many golf balls would you lose on that hole? I, you know what? Legitimately, I can't imagine ever actually hitting green. <laughs> I, 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 it, that is not in my in my bag at all. The the accuracy required for that. It's it's not my favorite hole in golf. The 16th. In, uh, in Phoenix, I think, is what should be replicated at every golf course and every tournament. What? But the 17th, uh, for me, b- better than Amen Corner or anything else, that hole is just ridiculous. And I've been watching the, the, the shots all day long, and everyone just consistently is amazing. Well, any hole with water, um, and, and I say not uh, like, like at the Golf Club of Texas, and I forget which hole it is, there's two holes with water. And there is one. That for the love of God, I've never seen you actually get over it. No, Even when never. you swear to God that you've gotten over it. One well, time I did, although I never had proof, so I can't claim You it. never found the ball. I, you didn't make it. I hit. I drove the water. I drove the highway. I, no, I, I, yeah, well, that's I it. I mean, there, 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 there is something just intimidating about water for below average golfers like you and I are. Other people find the challenge. Uh, and other people get really angry like James Pledger or a Joe Reinagle when they know they're about to line up and they're just trying to, you know, and it, it doesn't quite happen. Yeah, there's certain comfort in the expectation of immediate loss. No, you just I'm a I'm a I grab a range ball just for such occasions and uh, we, we're going to take it to town. Uh, you guys will see that water course, too, in two weeks. If you're yeah, absolutely. Golf Club of Texas, uh, SASportsStar.com. The uh, Cowboys made some subtractions today we'll talk about what all the cowboys are doing what steven had to say yesterday coming up at 5 15 ish with john mishota from the athletic but in a nutshell the cowboys today have announced that they are releasing leighton van Der Esch with an injury designation they are also going to release michael gallup with a post june one designation so their entire 28 draft class while it was a good draft class, uh, five of the seven were, are legit NFL players. None, though, are still with the Dallas Cowboys. Some will look at that as a negative, but from a talent standpoint, uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, his career just injury riddled. Michael Gallup, not the same after an injury. And where I'm mad at the Cowboys front office is the contract that they gave Michael Gallup after the injury. And now it's biting him in the ass, and he's gone. 
uh, they're, they're having to let him go. With that contract that they gave him coming off of the injury, was it necessary at the time? And, and we'll always second guess things like that because it didn't work. Uh, they got him a little bit cheaper than they would have if he were fully healthy. But at the same time, why were they in a rush to sign him to a contract that big? I'm not going to be mad at him for that and because I'm mad at him for not doing that very same thing with the four other dudes that need to get paid. So they save some money and, you know, and they're going to look. I hope they don't look at it like, hey, you know, you guys get mad at us for jumping the gun and paying early and trying to save money on the back end because we expect this player to be worth the money at the end of the contract and they did it with Gallup and it's not a hundred percent guarantee but at least with him they paid him requisite to an early success and telling him look man we expect you to be great and we're gonna pay you like that now it didn't work out when they gave him that money we all universally agreed I think he's the best one of the best high point guys in the league and the expectation was he was going to be that deep ball answer I'm not mad at him. I, I think they handled the Gallup situation exactly as they should be handling those that they haven't handled yet. Pay them early. It might not always work out, but if it does work out, the millions that you save are worth the risk. This one didn't work out. And we still don't have a running back. No, sadly. Now, well, we do. Uh, this is the we, dawning of the Deuce Vaughn era, we don't, which we refuse right. to acknowledge. I, I, I'll rephrase. We still don't have a full-size running back. There you go. Or a backup. Dowdle's a free agent too, right? Yeah. So it is the dawning of the Deuce Vaughn era, and we're just Stop. holding him back. We are hiding the fact Stop. that we have a secret weapon. Stop. Deuce Vaughn, DV. Stop. Come see us here at the Roo Pub, 281 and at Redland Road at He's play, play uh, Denver tonight up in Austin. We'll talk about that coming up. Are you still mad that the Spurs are playing in Austin? And you think about the game tonight, the defending champs in town, Wemby against the Joker. You want to make that game a little bit more exciting? Make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com and get signed up. Use my promo code STAR when you sign up. And it's a lot of fun to do that play the pick em game where you pick between two and five players from at least two different teams. And looking at it right now, because all you have to do is select higher or lower on uh, predicted stats, uh, I would go higher on the Joker. I'd also go higher on Wemby looking at what those numbers are right now. And if your picks hit, you could win up to 100 times your money. It is a fantasy game. The cash is real, and it is legal in Texas. Sign up with my promo code STAR, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they will give you a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. Writing 1604 with the Blitz. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Whether or not you can perform, have you completely stopped having adult time? Is it something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed male enhancement pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Male Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax. 100% natural male enhancement formulas only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. 
Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Monroe, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Guys, your testosterone level impacts your energy, drive, weight, hair loss, and even ED. Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your T-level for free. For your free T-level check, exam, and consultation, call 210-615-7777 or visit revivemenshealth.com. Get in zone. Major League Baseball plays here. San Antonio's ESPN 1250. KZDC San Antonio. system and help your engine get more MPGs. Right now, you can get two bottles for only $9.99. A great deal to help you go a great deal farther. Find Lucas Complete Fuel Treatment and everything you need for better fuel efficiency at any one of our 6,300 stores. Get in zone, auto zone. Restrictions apply. If you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Try. You want plumbing? LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one -on -one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. All right. Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Listen to 941 San Antonio Sports Star on your Amazon or Google smart speaker. San Antonio's Sports Center. The San Antonio Spurs in action tonight. That home game against the Denver Nuggets that's actually in Austin. The first of two games this weekend at the Moody Center. The Aggies, they play Kentucky tonight at 6 in the second round of the SEC tournament there in Nashville. You can listen to that game on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. In UTSA, they'll have their spring game April 13th, 2 o'clock in the Alamo Dome. Joe Reinagel. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to Big Day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Joe Reinagle has this Friday off. I'm Jason Minnix. Live out at the Roo Pub, 281 and Redland Road. Come hang out with us on this Friday. Aggies play in about an hour later on tonight. Spurs and Nuggets, they'll have them on here at the Roo. And the rare opportunity to see one Rob Thompson out in public, out in the wild, Rob Thompson from the morning huddle back on the blitz. Uh, yeah, I'm out and about. I, I'm in, I'm in the wild. Uh, come join me. And, and, and my natural habitat that is the roof of it's, it's strangely familiar, but so foreign all at the same time, because the last time I was here, we sat at a different place and we weren't nearly as comfortable as we are now. This is it's like they built this little nook just for you and Joe, man. This is perfect. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same as the the nook that's on the other side. But what, what? But what, I see a TV now. We didn't get to see the TV directly in front well, of us. Well, see, that's that's what it was. Is you know, we went to the ownership here. We were like, dude, uh, there's a TV behind us. That does us no good. So we came to the other side where there's a TV beside us, which you can watch. I cannot. 
but at least you could see it. But also, there was something about uh, Greg Shelton being grumpier. He needs to be closer to the door when it's time to leave. <laughs> it's easier to connect things because, uh, well, quite frankly, there used to be a uh, golf game there that has the connections that we need. That went back to the game room, and this opened up. And, uh, you know, what what the hell? But it does feel like you're driving in, a, 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 in Europe right now. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. Is that what it you're telling me? It does feel a little off. First couple times that we did shows here after we made that switch, I, I, I felt that way. But knowing that you are going to do the show today, uh, Chip Ingram, who owns this fine establishment, uh, came up with the perfect St. Patrick's Day T-shirt for Rob Thompson. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll show it right now, the T-shirt that is their St. Patrick's Day T-shirt is the perfect Rob Thompson shirt on the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. But it says, uh, the only Irish thing about me are my goodbyes. And that is a true statement. I, uh, I'm i an expert. And, you know, the Irish got it right. Go have a good time. But it's not crying about the goodbyes. We'll we'll see each other again. We'll we will we'll meet again, and uh, we'll I'll sneak out then too. You know the question that I, I, I and I know the answer to this, but I have forgotten. So I'm asking a, a, a dumb question that you're going to say you should know that. How tall are you? I'm about six four. You're six four. A six four guy that can disappear. It, it, and nobody it's, it's noticed. A talent. It, it really is because when you enter a room, you generally enter a room with such uh your your, your entrance is like everybody knows rob has arrived because <laughs> of what i'm falling into the I'm stumbling in is that well, i mean that happens <laughs> that has happened but i mean you arrive and you are and then when it's like where'd rob go i don't know uh and then you look around kelly's gone too uh your wife and and you know it's like poof you're, you're it's gone. a skill. It, yeah. it, it, some are born to it. Some of it have to practice it over the years. And I have become an expert of just kind of disappearing into the ether. You'll know I was there. You just don't know when I left. That That's true. It, that, it's it, a skill. And so Chip made his St. Patrick's Day shirts in honor of Rob Thompson's rare appearances on the Blitz on the at the Roop Up. Now, you've been to the Roop Up plenty of times when work wasn't involved. Yes. But the actual work out here was... Uh, um, and, and it was a requirement. You doing a double? We had to be on location somewhere and, cool. And cut it short by 30 minutes because I had to be prepared for my Aggies. And well, we, I got my rider taken care of. Yeah, uh, we, we had nothing to do with that. You know, the Spurs are playing uh, tonight in uh, Austin, home game, yada, yada, yada. Uh, they're playing the world champions. Yeah, I, And it, they're up, the Spurs are up there kind of treating Austin like they're, I don't know, the, the new girlfriend. It, it's very strange. Wimby uh, today this afternoon might have picked a fight. What he might have he might have said something about Rudy Gobert that I'm finding oh, very. Have you seen this? Yeah, this was yesterday. Oh, this actually. was yesterday, and it, it, was, it was the weird part about it is this was said during the French part of the media session. So that, that's partly that, why maybe that's why I didn't know till today. It had to be transcribed. Well, but he's being a tough guy. Well, I, I so what what Wemby said during the French portion of the news. Are you gonna conference, say it in English or French? Uh I wee oui, wee oui is all I got. So uh <laughs> obviously English. I know that Rudy has a very good chance of winning it this year, talking about defensive player of the year, and it would be deserved. Let him win it now because after that it's no longer his turn. Bring it, Victor. Yeah. Bring it. Did, uh, I uh, I didn't know that that, quite frankly, was in it. I didn't know that that was something that he would even begin to say, not only about, you know, his progression as a player, but uh, about a guy that's a fellow countryman and obviously one that he's going to be consistently compared with until Gobert finally, you know, is left in the wake of the wimbiness that's coming. You know, it, it's interesting because he is a nice guy. But he is a competitor, and the dude wants to win every individual award that's out there, and he also wants to win as a team. Um, and, and you know, it's it because there are some players that ah, MVPs don't matter or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because it, the way he has said it before, it's not an arrogance or or anything like that. But if I'm winning those awards, except for Rookie of the Year, that means our team is pretty good. Our team is really good. Our team is championship level. You know, when he was drafted and we were all here at the Roo Pub and the place went nuts, right? Yeah, that, that viral moment. You know, that night, he didn't talk about coming here and winning a championship. 
He talked about multiple, mm-hmm. and that is in his DNA, which is why I do think, despite all the crap that I hear from Greg Popovich at times, you know, they will go through the process the right way. But this isn't a long term because I think Wemby wants to win now, but his play this year has proven he is ready to win. He's not going to be a winner. He, you know, three years from now, that cake is going to be done. He just looks and has played at a level that I don't think any of us truly expected him to be this far along this quickly. I I think universally we're all astounded where he is. I just didn't know that he had the attitude to bring the, yeah, enjoy it now because that's mine for the foreseeable future. Draymond on his podcast, what yesterday, the day before, said he's already one of the 20 best players in the league, already there, and just be very afraid talking about the award. And, or the rookie of the year, which everybody's universe, he's got it. It's a done deal. We're just headed toward the 65 games. How much do you want to see Victor past that 65th game? You know, quite frankly, as much as possible, because he's one of the few reasons to to tune in and watch a bad basketball yeah. team, because you're watching bad basketball, low IQ basketball on a lot of nights, although it has improved although inconsistently since Mm -hmm. the All-Star break. Devin Vassell's been great since February on. But in reality, I wouldn't be surprised if they shut him down, but I don't care about him being fresh for the uh, French Olympic team in the summer. It's not about being fresh for the Olympics, but we know there's miles that are going to be put on this tire for the next year, so maybe we lock it down a little bit sooner than we would Well, I mean, from from that standpoint, I mean, last two games looks like he's found the rookie wall. It does. And so uh, if they did shut him down after he got – the 65 game mark um he's one rookie of the year i don't think there's any doubt about that so i I, it wouldn't surprise me although he is the one of the few reasons to tune in and watch the spurs uh on a on a regular basis with the exception of the fact that it's your basketball team and uh you know you're you know you watch a lot of those games and, and and you allow yourself to get angry you know like i know a lot of people because they just i feel like they just want to be angry at something, and it's the Spurs playing in Austin this weekend. That's me, man. Right? You're, you're defying me. You just want to be angry at I something. I mean, this year playing in Austin is just, yeah, whatever for me. Last year I was angry about it because there was that threat of them moving. This year that threat seems to have been removed for whatever reason, and I know we're still a long way from mm-hmm. shovels in the ground, but just I think the talk of where that new Wemby Center is going to be, uh, other things. I mean, I just I, I don't feel that same threat like I did last year. I'm not worried about losing them. I just don't like being told I'm not enough. As a Spur fan, as a citizen of San Antonio, I don't like them coming to me after being here for 50 years and going through title after title, putting guys into the Hall of Fame, doing all of this, and then a couple of guys from Austin that made some money digitally delivering pizzas or taking people where they want to go come and say, you know what you need is a bigger brand, and the best thing we can do is take away some of your home games and go up there. That's what It just doesn't sit well with me. And now that Wimby's here, it makes even less sense. Sense well, that this is happening. But when this was all put together, Wemby was still a pipe dream for San Antonio. I agree. And you know, a lot of empty seats inside the Frost Bank Center. So what, people but, didn't want to go see the Gus Garcia Glee Club at halftime? No. No, but getting the Glee Club in there and selling tickets Not to the parents was the only way them. to do that. Uh, that that's that's kind of the way it is. Let's talk some Cowboys coming up. John Mashota from The Athletic Let's joins us next here on The Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. When you need an electrician, you know Hill Electric is available to you 24-7 for residential and commercial needs. I've used Hill Electric for a variety of projects at my house. They do fantastic work and have for over three decades. The family-owned Hill Electric has served San Antonio homes and businesses. They have the right service at the right price. Never a service charge, always free estimates. So whatever your project is, it costs you absolutely nothing to figure out what it will take to get a project done. Call Hill Electric, 210-404-9074, 404-9074, or hill-electric.com. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ansira Auto Group. 
Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join, or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation, Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, let me tell you about the Golf Club of Texas. It's not a private club, but it certainly has a country club feel. It's open to the public seven days a week. And, well, the Golf Club of Texas offers some of the best course conditions in town with the friendliest staff. In fact, they are fixing that place up big time. Brand new cart paths. They've resodded all over the place. It is a great place to play golf. And it's not just for golf. It's all about the food as well. They have a great family family-friendly restaurant called the Tin Cup. So even if you're not a golfer, take the family or hang out with your friends. It is the best sit-down restaurant in that part of San Antonio. The Golf Club of Texas, it's there on Briggs Ranch Road off Highway 90. Check them out for dinner at the Tin Cup, around with your buddies, your next tournament. Just go check them out. Best rates are always online at thegolfclubofTexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you or a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or alawyerforus.com. The St. Paddy's Day parties at the Roop of are legendary, and this year it will be the biggest St. Patrick's Day party ever with the Green Beer day party with drink specials, live music with three bands on the outdoor stage and DJs and college hoops inside at both the Roof Hub and Angry Elephant. Sunday, March 17th, starting at 11 a.m. It's an all-day party, and this year is going to be bigger and better than ever before. So plan now for St. Patrick's Day at the Roof Hub and Angry Elephant, 281 in Redland Road. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Vokey SM10 wedges. Made for lower flight, improved feel, and maximum spin. Unlock your ultimate wedge. Play with the new Vokey SM10 wedges. Visit us in store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldWideGolf.com. Get there. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Looky, looky. It's A&M basketball tonight at 530 against Kentucky. The SEC tournament rolls on. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 a San Antonio Sports Star live out at the Roop Hub, 281 and Redland Road. 
Aggie basketball in about 15 minutes here on 94.1. You can also watch it here at the Rue tonight along with Spurs and Nuggets for that wonderful home game that's actually in Austin at the Moody Center. Joe Reinagle has the day off. I'm Jason. My next Rob Thompson from the morning huddle in for Joe. And let's talk some Cowboys football with John Mashoda from The Athletic joining us on the Buyers Barricades guest line. John, I know it's been a busy week covering all this uh, Cowboys free agency news, and they did make news today, no additions, but a couple of subtractions. Yeah, I know it's not the news that Cowboys fans want to hear. You know, it doesn't really move the needle like adding a, a major player. But yeah, the, the Leighton Vander Esch, Michael Gallup news is really not a surprise. Uh, you know, Michael Gallup was being paid to be the number two wide receiver on this team, and, and that that never even came close to happening. And really, the stuff I heard in Indianapolis at the combine is that you know Jalen Tolbert had moved up to number three. And so when you got that, and then you got an organization that feels really good about what. They can put on Kevontae Turpin's plate and Jalen Brooks. That just those weren't good signs coming out of Indianapolis for Michael Gallup. And then obviously with Leighton Vander, we all know that he's had the, the neck issues and uh, and that's not that's not a great thing for, for not just a football career, but you just don't want that in general to uh, in, in your everyday life. And so we always knew that that was gonna be kind of a question mark in terms of his NFL future, his Cowboys future. So that still has to get sorted out, but it obviously won't be with the Cowboys. And then the Cowboys add Eric Kendrick. So it just kind of makes sense that Kendrick is going to step in for that Van Der Esch role mm-hmm. where he'll most likely have the radio on in his helmet. He'll be the one communicating with Mike Zimmer and be the quarterback of the defense like Leighton Van Der Esch had been in the past when healthy. So I know it's not the exciting moves that people were hoping for, and it certainly doesn't help when the owner and general manager talks about being all in. And, uh, the moves of the first week of free agency aren't very all in. But, uh, yeah, that's just where we are right now. <laughs> John, uh, what's the holdup with the Dak deal? I mean, what what is it? Oh, I think there's a chance that Jerry's willing no to deal. let him play it out this year. Yeah, that, that he's willing to let him play it out uh, this season and uh, and then go into the offseason and, and try and negotiate the deal depending on how this season goes. And that's a little bit surprising to me. I did not think that that would happen. Um, but the way that things have gone between in terms of you know, Dak's representatives and, and the Joneses. It doesn't sound like there's been very much communication, and it seems like if both just sit back and wait, uh, it doesn't sound like either one's going to really make a move. Uh, I would think that, that there's always a chance it could still happen, um, possibly training camp, but um, I'm not ruling out the possibility that they let him play it this final year out of the deal and then go into next offseason and, and try and figure out what they're going to do going forward. So, obviously, if that happens, that increases the, the risk that you lose Dak Prescott next offseason, but that might be a risk that Jerry's willing to make, and that might be more of where he's talking about being all in, is that, yeah, if this is a disaster of a season and we, and we disappoint, then there could be some, some big changes, including uh, potentially a franchise quarterback. Well, again, I mean, if, if this year doesn't go well, uh, everybody's on a one-year deal as we sit right now. So, you know, from your head coach to your defensive coordinator to your quarterback, although listening to Stephen Jones yesterday, while all the talk has been they haven't even really talked and there was no need to, that's what we heard coming out of the combine. Stephen said yesterday uh, they have talked with Dak and, they and you know, on a personal level, maybe about, hey, congrats on your baby and what's this uh, lawsuit <laughs> thing going on, but also about his contract and Dak's willingness to work with the Cowboys. So is it possible talks with Dak are a little further along than either side are letting on? That's tough to say. I, I do think that if you get, you get the right people in the room, it, I think it could be knocked out pretty quickly. But I, I, I just don't get the sense that either side is really willing to give in too much on this thing. You know, I, I think the Cowboys side is they would they would like to see Dak take a little bit less than resetting the market. You know, like uh, some guys have done in the past, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Matthew Stafford, things like that, where they're clearly uh, they could have got more money than they did. Uh, and I think that they're wanting that. This is my issue with that line of thinking is let's say you were to get Dak to agree to let's say Dak wants 60 a year. And they're, they're like, we want 53 to 55, something like that. It's going to be over 50 because that just they, he's going to be one of the highest paid quarterbacks. So let's just say it's 53 to 55. What, what are the Cowboys doing with that other $5 million? You know, are they, is, that, is, is that going to be seen? Is that going to make a notable difference somewhere? So from a fan standpoint, an outsider standpoint, people really don't want to hear that because it's not like it's going to be that, like, well, if they, if they save a little bit of money here, 
they're going to spend a, a, like all this money to go get like a, a Derrick Henry or they're going to go get another wide receiver. Like that's probably not happening either. So that's why when fans sit there and, and, and they're like, well, why is Dak waiting in that? Well, I don't know that if he, whether he gets 60 or 55 or heck even 50, I don't know that there's going to be any big changes to the roster one way or the other. And so I just think it's going to be tough because Jerry is really dug in. It was, I will never forget the way Jerry, the way he answered questions, the way he carried himself at that last Dak press conference when they gave him that last deal. He knows that Dak and his agent worked him over. Jerry is so used to winning deals, and he knows, and he admitted he did not win that deal. And so whether this is good business or not, I feel like he's going to be even more dug in on this one. And Todd France is one of the best agents in the business. He's not giving in either. So uh, that's why that's why I'm saying it would not surprise me if this goes into the season. And Dak's the type of guy that he'll play on that final year of that deal. He did it yeah. before, and, and, he, and he suffered a gruesome ankle injury and still got paid. John, a, a couple of things here. If you're banking on getting a better deal because he doesn't play as well as you hope, do you want him anyway? You know, th- there is that whole thing. And if you do wait, you're you're going to pay more. It's going to cost him more regardless every day that he waits. Is that a, a fair statement? That it is the inflationary property of being an NFL quarterback. You're worth more today than you were yesterday because somebody else is about to get paid. I mean, is he willing to sacrifice that? And if he is, that's fine. If it's not Dak now, then who is now? If you're telling me all in is keeping your guys in house, who's going to be the guy? Is it Micah? Is he the one that's going to get it? The CD? Who's going to get it if we're waiting on Dak? Well, well, that's the thing. If, if you are going to sit there and not get something done with Dak, I feel like you have to get something done with CD because at least maybe there's some hope that as the, as, as the season plays out and you get in the next off season, maybe the season goes so well that Dak's like. Hey, let's just get something done. I want to be here. This has been great. Everything's going well. What, what do you want me to sign for? Let's just make it respectable. I make a ton of money off the field. Let's just get this thing done. Maybe that happens. But that's not going to happen with C.D. Lamb. Like, C.D. Lamb is going to get paid like one of the top wide receivers, if not the highest paid wide receiver. And so when you say that about the longer you wait, the, the price just goes up, that's certainly the case with C.D. Lamb, too. I mean, here's the thing with C.D. Lamb. Like, you don't need any, even any deep analytics. Look on the back of his football card. Every single stat over every single year he's done with the Cowboys has gone up. From targets to receptions to receiving yards to receiving touchdowns to rushing touchdowns, he keeps getting used more and more in the offense. Like You're not going to get a bargain on him. That's the deal that I feel like has to get done. So that, that needs to be number one. And, and, then, and then Dak, I mean, if you can get any of them done, it's great. But I just really think the CD one makes no sense to wait on that. Make him the highest paid receiver in the league. And then whenever Justin Jefferson and those guys come up, then they'll be the highest paid and CD will drop down to two, three, or four. Well, see, and that's the other thing that, you know, if I'm CD's agent, I'm letting Justin sign first. Uh, uh, right, you know, right. I don't I, I don't want to be the first one there. And, and it is the chicken and egg game that I think all these guys and their agents are playing. And, you know, and I get Micah Parsons done. I mean, they don't have to be done in order. But, you know, they need to get done. And I go back a couple of years ago. I forget who we were waiting on. Then all of a sudden it was Jalen Smith that we were, were having a press conference uh, for his contract getting done. All right. Uh, get something done. It's weird that we're a week in uh, and, 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 the, and the Cowboys have signed one linebacker to a relatively cheap deal. Although I think what will ultimately be a great signing for the Cowboys defense, knowing Mike Zimmer in his version of Leighton Van Der Esch is now in Dallas. No, and I agree with that. Like, And I, mm-hmm. I do think Eric Kendrick is going to be better than what people are expecting right now, especially just because fans are frustrated right now. It's like, it's not like they did much this time of year, like in, in free agency last year, the year before, the year before, I mean, for the last decade. But it's just the fact that that's not a, that's not a big name. That's not Bobby Wagner. You know, that's not Devin White. So, but I do think that that, that will be a good addition. But, um, but, but when it comes to those contracts like that, I don't, I don't think that that even worked out. When you mentioned the thing about Jalen Smith, because that was, that was almost like it was leveraged because they were trying to get the Zeke deal done. And so all of a sudden, they get Jalen Smith, and Lael Collins to, to agree to long-term deals, and both of those were awful deals. And, and, and even really the Zeke one didn't work out either. So <laughs> doing that doesn't really work either. It, there's clearly the three guys that you have to pay. Everybody knows who they are, so why not get one of them done it, it, you know, a, ASAP? And so then you can move forward and have a little bit extra cash. Maybe you can do something with that, be a, make a trade, or, or sign some players that, like Stephen mentioned yesterday, which was interesting, that you know when when some of these teams cut other players and stuff like that because of 
changes on their roster, whether it's through the draft or whatever, they can make a move then, and they're in position to make moves. Right now, it just doesn't. You just don't get the feeling that they're doing anything. It's almost like you want, you just want to see one of those deals get done to let to let you know, okay, this thing's heading in 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 the right direction. Absolutely. Make sure you follow John on Twitter for all those alerts from what I anticipate being a big a busy weekend up there in Dallas at John Mashoda. J-O-N Mashota, no H, J-O-N Mashota. Subscribe to The Athletic. John, always appreciate it. Enjoy the basketball this weekend. I will. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Thanks John. Appreciate it. John Mashota from The Athletic on the Buyers Barricades guest line, where they provide traffic control rental and sales for San Antonio and beyond online at buyersbarricades.com. It is uh, interesting up there in Dallas because it's the three contracts we've been talking about for seemingly a full calendar Forever. year. Forever. Forever. Although, if I'm Micah, I'm in no hurry. Although it will save Jerry money if he signs now, he's eligible. But why? if you're Micah, uh, Micah might be in a hurry. Micah's agent is telling him, slow down, wait, because next year the values go up. If I'm C.D. Lamb's agent, let Justin Jefferson sign first. Let him set the market. Uh, I on that side of things, I agree. Jerry needs to go Godfather on this. He needs to step in and go. I'm gonna overpay for you right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust in the fact that right now it looks like I'm gonna over and pick the guy, either CD or Mike. I don't care which one. Knowing full well that if they are who we think they are, you are gonna make money. You'll end up making money on this deal if you will do it now, and you'll just swallow your pride. And I'd forgotten about. John bringing up Jerry feeling like he'd gotten worked against Dak in that last one, and I do think that is playing a role well, right now. Well, I, I mean, I do. you know, he, he wins most of his deals. and But I also know if there's something that Jerry really wants, Jerry will figure out a way to go and get it. But there's always this, this uh, you know, pulling of teeth feeling when it comes to these major deals that you think would be no-brainers. And uh, get them done. Get one of them done. Uh, all three guys, family members, have been on social media bashing the Cowboys, which which certainly doesn't help the situation. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, man, we are made you, it. Are, are you going to give us a good blitz on the way out? Oh, well, you know what? I didn't get a chance to do that. How much time do we have? We uh, have... Eight seconds. All right. With wait, uh, three, two, one. It has been the blitz. Uh, there you go. Rob Thompson, listen to him weekday morning, 6 to 10, with RJ Ochoa on the morning huddle. Uh, the Blitz, weekdays 2 to 6, except for a day like today. The Aggies, they're playing tonight. Andrew Monaco is seconds away from saying, howdy, at. Okay, sir. This is Sports Center. I'm Doug Brown. After 10 years in the NFL, all of them with the Rams, defensive lineman Aaron Donald.